Cup is the Online Darts Live League Champions Week. And we are into the second day of action where Group Air will play to a close today with 22 matches. And Kevin Burness led the pack overnight. Burness topping the Group Air table ahead of Colin Osborne. Martin Thomas, this man. Former participant at the UK Open Finals earlier this year. And Fallon Sherrick, all four points behind Kevin Burness, who has 12 points in the table. Coming fifth currently is Aaron Monk on six points with three wins yesterday. And James Richardson, bottom of the pile on four. He gets Martin to throw first. Game on. So Thomas, to get us underway, has had an interesting day yesterday. Lost his first two matches, but then went on to win four of his next 59. five. Martin Thomas. With uh, some decent displays in there as well. 85. They're all playing for places at finals night at the end of Champions Week, which will take place on Saturday. 180. Thomas fires in the first max of the morning, his 11th in the group. 140. Six places up for grabs for the 12 players in action this week. One of them will progress automatically from this group. As I was saying before, Kevin Burness in the best position to do that going into today's action. But it can all change. 125. The second, third and fourth Martin place players. Spots currently occupied by Colin Osborne. Martin Thomas himself and Fallon Sherrick will be in Group B on Thursday and Friday evening. Aaron, three you players will progress. And the bottom two will play in Group C. As Aaron Monk looks for a stonking Game start. Oh, what a start. What Monk. a finish from Aaron Monk. A 1-5-1 one one checkout. What a wake-up for Martin Thomas. What a start for Aaron Monk. Beautiful, beautiful finish. Second leg, it's Aaron to throw first. Well, the early bird catches the worm, and Aaron Monk certainly flown into action this morning, and he 83. needs to. Six points adrift of that top spot. Of course, only one player moving through from group here. 60. That will be the man in top spot, or the lady in top spot, if Alan Sherrick can... Produced the goods today. 100. She was quite consistent yesterday. She's certainly in the mix. But yeah, just to highlight and relay 46. what you can expect this week after today's action, the top player will go through. And we will be back at 9.30 tomorrow morning with Group C, which will consist of fifth and sixth place in 81. this group. And then the incoming... Chaz Barstow, 96. Jim Williams and Jamie Kelling and Richie Burnett, the defending champion in Group B. Well, that will take place on Thursday and Friday evening from 10pm live on Sporty Stuff TV with the second, third and fourth from this group joining up with the Welsh duo Aaron, you require 112. Mark Webster and Wayne Warren who were both runners-up in their weekly events here at the Online Darts Live League. 56. Martin, you require 160. We'll keep you up to date with the state of play as the tournament progresses. 84. It's quite simple that a win here would move Thomas 56. into outright second place. Monk would move on to joint points with Thomas, Sherrick and Osborne if he wins. Game and he's halfway to doing so after a fabulous start to this match. That 1-5-1 one one checkout in the first leg changed everything. Thomas was on top at that point, but now Aaron Monk has a two-leg lead. Third leg, it's Martin to throw first. 140. Certainly producing a different level of performance to anything we saw yesterday here, Aaron Monk. And he's flexing his muscles now, opening with a max. 
an average of more than 100 for the former world youth champion. 85. His best yesterday was 85. So his average yesterday was 85.7. His best was 96.97. 60. So only managed five maximums over the course of the seven matches that he played yesterday. 41. Half the amount that his opponent in this one amassed. Following this will be the league leader, Kevin Burness, in a top against bottom clash when he meets James Richardson. Then it's Colin Osborne taking on Thomas before the Queen of the Palace enters the action. Fallon Sherrick goes up against Aaron Monk in game four this morning. 180. Well, Monk Martin is certainly McCoy, starting well here. And Thomas may well need this finish and he's not going to take it out treble 20 would have given him a dart at the bullseye Aaron, you require tees up double 18 but the way Monk's been shooting here you'd expect him to take this out particularly on his favourite double now double 10 45 oh, narrow miss may Martin, you require 36 give Thomas a way back Game into this match third leg. Martin Thomas and Martin Thomas takes the chance the Welshman Halves a deficit and just stops Monk in his tracks. But Monk still leads 2-1. Fourth leg, it's Aaron to throw first. Fifty-five. Ninety-nine. One hundred and forty. Monk will start at the 19s here and will now move back up. As he tries to leave a finish. 99. One treble, not enough to do that. Thomas should really start at the 19s and does. Now he should go for the bullseye. Just working out what he has left here. But it should be bull or 25 to leave a finish. And that's exactly what he's done. Good thinking. Eighty-five. One nine two. Martin that he left. One hundred and sixty-seven. A checkout. Not one that he can check out, but he will put himself in a decent spot to break here. If Aaron Monk thirty-one can't add Aaron, a second. One hundred and nineteen. Ton plus finish. Well, bullseye he wants. And Game bullseye he gets. Play. What a shot Aaron that is! Monk. A second ton plus checkout. For Aaron Monk, this one bettered on the bull to just stop Thomas drawing level. And Monk leads 3-1. Fifth leg, it's Martin to throw first. 81. Brilliant checking out by 81. Aaron Monk in this match. 151 in the opening leg. And now 119 to go with a 56 earlier. 190. Third 180 added to a very, very impressive stat sheet. 140. For the Mad Monk. 89. And poor old Martin Thomas has been afforded just one dart at double in this match. He hit it. But some very, very well-timed checkouts have left him with a mountain to 85. climb. 85. Eighty-one. 
99. Martin, you require 131. Stay in it. Had a slow start yesterday. Did Martin Thomas losing his first two matches? Aaron, you require 82. Oh. Monk has afforded. 42. Thomas, an unexpected Martin, opportunity you here. 76. He's only had one dart at double in his entire match. He's going to get one more. He hit that one. Game shot. And he the hits player. this one. Martin Thomas. Well, Martin Thomas, two out of two on the outer ring. And still in this match, partly because of that misfire from Aaron Monk that denied himself a dart at double. But Monk still leads 3 2. Sixth leg. It's Aaron to throw first. When the pair met yesterday, Thomas 41. defeated Monk. 4-3. That was his first win of the day. And it sparked a little run that Martin Thomas went on. Of winning. 121. Three matches on the spin and four of his next five. 28. Monk started the day with a victory yesterday. That was over Colin Osborne. One hundred and thirty. A bit of a deflection there for Aaron Monk means he doesn't add to his tally of three one eighties in this match, but still in a good spot to wrap up. One hundred. What could turn out to be a very important win here. We will see him join the chasing pack. As he will move level with Martin Thomas, Colin Osborne, 43. and Fallon Sherrick on eight points from as many matches. Four behind the league leader, Kevin Benes, 85. and four in front. Aaron, you require 100. The man at the bottom of the table, James Richardson. Benes and Richardson play next here at the online darts live league. 82. Martin, you require 153. 151 from Monk in the first leg. 153 to stay alive. Not achieved, but left handy. And for a man who hasn't missed a dart at a double, Martin Thomas will be hoping that Monk allows him one more. Game shot. But he and does not. Aaron Monk. Big puff of the cheeks there from Aaron Monk. He knows he was in a match with Martin Thomas, but he was more than a match for him. Nothing to choose between the pair in terms of the averages in that one. But the 3 180s helped Monk carve out more opportunities. And when he got them, he took them. The 151 check out the highlights to go with the 119 on the ball. It's a winning start for Aaron Monk that sees him join the chasing pack here in Group A at the Online Darts Live League Champions Week.
Good morning, welcome back to the action here at the Online Darts Live League where we've just witnessed Aaron Monk claim a 4-2 win over Martin Thomas that sees him join the chasing pack with four, four players tied on eight points. Four behind the league leader, Kevin Burness, and four in front of the man at the bottom of the table. Well, that's that man, James Richardson. If Richardson can win this one, First he will leg blow this group to throw first. wide Game open. On. If Burness wins, he will stretch his lead. Everybody has played eight matches now. So just to run you through the latest standings, Burness, 100. top of the table. On 12 points, Osborne, Thomas, Sherrick and Monk all have eight. And Richardson has 85. four at the bottom. Eighty-five. One hundred and forty. Well, that win for Aaron Monk in the previous match saw him jump up to two places to third on legs difference. One hundred. One hundred and Vaness was in fine form 92. yesterday. Six wins and two defeats. But one near the end of the day against Fallon Sherrick just kept him within touching distance of the rest of the field. 81. Kevin, you require 124. Bullseye then for Vaness. 99. We saw a brilliant ball from Aaron Monk James in the last match. Vaness couldn't push the button. And now Richardson has two darts at double 19. Can't afford to go inside. Hasn't. Game and he's gone the in the double. James and Richardson. it is a steal against the Iron Man for James Richardson to take the first leg of this match. And against the darts as well. It's getting very, very interesting early this morning. Second leg. It's James to throw first. Game on. And as I was saying at the start of this, if Richardson can find a way to find his form and win this match then it all gets very close and exciting in that race for first place there are of course advantages of finishing higher in the table second third and fourth go through to group b where there are five players in it and three players progressing to finals night so in comparison to group c where there are six players 64. in and two progressing to finals night it is a huge advantage to get yourself in that group b so it's not all just about Winning 45. group A, but of course, whoever does do that will have their feet up for a couple of days. Maybe a few hours on the practice board and we'll come back. On Saturday, 43. to play for that £6,000 first prize. 125. 60. Well, Benes has put himself in a position to break straight back here. 84. So not, not getting below a ton. We'll just offer some encouragement to his opponent. 80. Kevin, you require 107. He hasn't managed to get onto a two data either. So oh, just in that 10, Vaness needs to Game settle himself here. And that will Kevin settle him Burnett. down, certainly. is an immediate break back from Kevin Vaness, having lost that first leg with his own darts on throw. He wins the next one to tie it up and take control of the match. 1-1. One, one. Third leg, it's Kevin to throw first. Game on. 140. Already the... Third ton plus checkout that we've seen. In group air today, Aaron Monk producing the other two, a 151 and a 119 in the morning's opening match. 
85. Yeah, James Richardson himself producing a 95 in the first leg of this one. But Baness bettering it with the 107 to level. 100. When they did meet yesterday, Kevin Baness. 89. And James Richardson. Eighty-one. It was a victory for the Iron Man. Four-two. Sixty. Kevin, you require one hundred and twenty. Well, both players needing one hundred and twenty. Baness will get the first chance. 100. Couldn't find double top James for a second leg on the spin. Will Richardson get a dart at that target? He will not. 60. Kevin, you require 20. So double 10 for the Northern Irishman. Becomes double 5 and still. 10. And he can't get there. James should require 60. The four darts missed at double to hold here for Kevin Baness, allowing an unexpected opportunity James for Richardson. Shot on the third leg. And James he shows Richardson. his ruthless streak by cashing in and breaking back James Richardson back in control of this contest. He leads 2 1. Fourth leg, it's James to throw first. Game on. And it is a. Uh, Top against bottom clash. 60. Richardson, eight points adrift of Baness going into today. Everybody in the league has played 100. eight matches now and still have seven to play. So, 14 points to play for. So, mathematically possible that 45. James Richardson could make the thousand mile journey from the bottom to the top of the group A table. Would have been a contender in many people's minds when the action started this week. But with the fact that we've had effectively three days play combined and compressed into two. And having one bad day, as Richardson did yesterday, can make an awful lot of difference. Just two wins. 140. For the Rushton man. One against Aaron Monk early in the day, 4-1. And later on, against Fallon Sherrick by the same scoreline. One hundred. One hundred. Kevin, you require one hundred and two. Sixty-two. James should require one hundred and sixty. Well, we had two of these in one match last week, but all he can manage to do here is take the one off. Well, the sixty-one. One hundred and twenty-one. Well, one hundred and twenty-one. Kevin, to leave himself on 40. tops, but he's hoping for more missed darts by Baness. Game shot on the fourth. And he doesn't player. get them this Kevin time. Baness. So four straight breaks are thrown out in this match, and every time James Richardson seems to take control, he gifts it straight back. To Fifth Kevin Baness. It's Kevin to throw first. Game on. Sixty. One hundred and forty. One hundred. Eighty-three. This is the second of twenty-two matches played over the course of today. Colin Osborne coming 100. up next. The Wizard against Martin Thomas. And then it will be Fallon Sherrick against Aaron Monk, who won 
The first match of the morning 100. against Thomas. One hundred. One hundred. Kevin, you require one hundred and forty-one. To avoid another break. Needed that treble. To get himself a dart at double twelve. 78. Richardson wants treble eighteen for one at the same target. Now he wants twenty for tops. Now he wants double ten. Fifty-eight. Well, there's a shake of the head there from Vaness. I think he thought that was Kevin, going to go. 32. Actually, would have been an easier chance than had he hit put a dart in the twenty because he had a clear bed to air mat. Sixteen. Well, Vaness didn't with the last dart. He deflected off the marker. James require twenty. And it is looking like another breaker throw. This double ten for James Game Richardson. Shot on the Found James Richardson. And that is now five breaks on the bounce in this match and if Richardson can just hold firm here he will win and make it very very interesting indeed in group A. Seat flag gets James to throw first game on. Can the basement boy topple the table topper? 80 41 We have just once in online 100. darts live league history witnessed a match in which every single leg was won against the throw. That was in phase one 95. when Nathan Rafferty met Niall Cullerton. 55. 82. There have been 61 matches where 42. every leg has gone with the throw. 39. There are not as many as you may think when this, when you consider this is the 1,820th game we've had. Since we started in phase one. 140. Way back when. But it does not look like this one will be doubling the tally of matches who every leg won against the throw. Unless, unless that's enough to Game rattle to Ruthless Richardson. And maybe it has. He's looking for the treble 13, 18. and from 84, he should be getting a dart at least the bullseye. Not sure what happened Kevin with the last dart there. 64. The 21 leaves 43 for Kevin Benes. So a double top for another break of throw, Game and there the it flag. is. And we do Kevin have Benes. the possibility of every single leg going against a throw in this match. If that happens, Richardson will win. But if Benes can hold the league leader... We'll pull further clear. Seventh and final leg. It's Kevin to throw first. Game on. One hundred and thirty-seven. One hundred. Eighty-one. One hundred and twenty-one. One hundred. Well, still in the balance. Richardson, though, needs to find two trebles here. Minimum requirements. Has to get one just to stay anywhere near 60. Kevin Burnett, and he hasn't managed it. So after all the breaks of throw, Kevin Burnett is going to get the opportunity to hold at the end. And that is an absolutely beautiful...
beautiful setup shot from Baness. You will not see better 100. than that. Kevin, you one five nine 24. to leave double twelve. Game and finally, and the match, finally a player Kevin holds, Burness. and it's Kevin Burness, the league leader, that pulls even further clear at the top of the table. Probably good value for the win, slightly better off in the average there by more than five points. Just the 1 180 between them. That 107 checkout, the best for Burness, but six breaks of throwing that match. But in the end, the last leg proved to be the most important, having the throw in it proved to be the difference. Baness wins and stretches his lead at the top of Group A. It is Champions Week, and the winner of Group A will progress straight to finals night to compete for the £6,000 first prize. And Kevin Burness is looking likely to be that man, having just pulled six points clear at the top of the table. But Colin Osborne and Martin Thomas are both on eight points and have the chance to move outright first into leg. second it's place. To throw first. Game on. So uh, an important match for this pair in terms of trying to challenge Baness at the top of the table. Fallon Sherrick and Aaron Monk in exactly the same position. They're 60. coming up after this one. Will it be the Wizard or the Welshman? 
that take that step. Thomas lost his first two matches oh, yesterday, no, so we'll be determined night. not to repeat that unfortunate feat today, having been beaten by Aaron Monk in this morning's opening match. 96. That 180 to kick off this one will help. The man who reached a challenge to a final at the weekend. 58. I thought Colin Osborne, out of all of the players, was perhaps the most unfortunate yesterday. Yes, he managed to earn himself four victories from the eight matches that he played, but felt as if his standard 59. was up there throughout the day. Lost a game with 103 average. And perhaps didn't get the results at his performance level merited 44 well he was trying to hit the 18 there to leave himself a finish 44 colin will still feel reasonably comfortable in this leg thomas in need of a big finish but we have seen some already today 107 from kevin Benes and a 119 one and 151 from aaron monk what about a 160 here? Not quite. 140. But he forces Colin Osborne. Require 123. To execute this 1 2 3 finish. 72 remaining. So now 56. He'll just plant another one in there to leave himself on double top. So apologies. Game the ball. On the first My leg. mistake, Colin but Osborne. no mistake from Colin Osborne, who beds the ball for a 1-2-3 checkout. Another big finish today, and Osborne has the lead in the match. What a shot. Second leg, it's Martin to throw first. I'm not sure what Thomas was stepping back for. He can't believe it. I couldn't believe it. Miscount from me. Apologise. 85. But no mistake from Colin Osborne, who did check it a couple of times. 125. For some reason, 129 in my head. 45. The 123 perfectly executed by Osborne. One hundred and fourteen. Colin, you require one hundred and sixteen. Well, simpler now. Only one way to go here. Treble twenty would have left 41. him double eighteen. Martin, you require one hundred and thirty. Two treble twenties. The target for Thomas. Sixty. Colin, you require seventy five. 18 for tops for Colin Osborne. Games oh, excellent on the finishing row. at the start Colin of this Osborne. match. A bullseye finish in leg one and then straight in double top in leg two. Colin Osborne on top of Thomas early on in this encounter. Third leg, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. One hundred and forty. Ninety-five. It's a seventy-five out to break in fifteen darts. Ninety-six.
following the fourth ton plus checkout we've seen in for what two and a half matches already. That one, two, three. Ninety nine. Sixty four. Forty five. He's left another potential. Some plus check out, not on purpose. Only scoring 45 to 94. get there. Colin, you require 121. But his finishing has been exemplary so far. Treble 17 to keep the run going. We would have given himself a dart 57. at the bullseye. Martin, you require Martin 108. Thomas has only had two darts at double all day, and he's hit them both. Hasn't had one in this match, but he gets one now. Game and he hits again every time Martin he gets a dart Thomas. at double. Martin Thomas hits it. He's just not getting enough, but he is in this match. And we've now had five ton plus checkouts already this morning. 2-1 to Osborne. Fourth leg. It's Martin to throw first. Game on. Martin Thomas. Two out of two. In his match against Monk. 120. One out of one in this one. Felt he should have had a maximum there. A bit of a unfortunate bounce out for the Welshman. And the Wizards determined to make him pay. 180. And that's exactly what he does by opening his maximum account for the day. He was the biggest 180 hitter here yesterday. 17 for Colin Osborne across the... Eight matches he played. Forty-three. Ninety-six. Sixty. Martin, you require one hundred and seventy. How about this? Would have beaten anything we've seen so far. The 151 from 100. Aaron Colin Monk, the highest checkout in. Group A. 42. Martin, you require 70. Two 150s yesterday. Thomas doesn't miss doubles. He has now. That perfect run comes to an end. Game but he doesn't miss two play. at that target. Martin Thomas. So ties things up at two apiece here, and he's just managed to peg Colin Osborne back in this match. Thomas determined not to do what he did yesterday and lose his first two games, and he Big might leg. not. It's Colin to throw first. Game on. Sixty. One hundred. One hundred and twenty five. One hundred. you are just joining us this morning just to recap what's happened so far Aaron Monk 44. earned himself an opening win against Martin Thomas by four legs to two and then Kevin Benes won a last leg decider 
against James Richardson in a match which had seen the previous six legs all go against the throw before Benes won with the darts in the decider to stretch his lead at the top of the group A table to 14 points with four players including this pair six behind him. 100. Richardson now effectively playing to try and put himself in the mix to get into group B rather than group C. There is a bit of an advantage in doing that for those who are unfamiliar with the online darts live league setup in that in group B played out on Thursday and Friday evening three from five will progress to finals night whereas in group C which the bottom two from group A will go into just two from six make it through Yep, double. 19. 97. Well, it was a good adjustment, but he couldn't get it right in the end. And Colin that's the first time, actually, 32. in two matches that Martin Thomas has not taken out a double Game when he's had the opportunity to do so. Colin Osborne. Osborne punishes and regains the lead in this match. 3-2 to the Wizard, who is now one away from moving clear into second place. Six leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. One hundred and forty. Ninety five. Eighty. Eighty five. One hundred. Well, Thomas biting back well. But Osborne could leave a finish if he can fill this up. He can't. 85. 85. Fifty-five. Martin, you require ninety-six. Fifty-six. He just tees up tops, knowing that Osborne can't finish. Thomas, who did beat Osborne when they met yesterday, by six four legs to three. That was the match, in Martin, fact, in which Osborne 40. averaged one hundred and three but didn't get the win. Looks like this one is going the distance as Game well. And it is going leg. the distance. Martin Seven Thomas. legs. Yesterday, it went Martin Thomas's way. Which way will it go in the decider this morning? 3-3. Three, three. Seventh and final leg. It's Collins to throw first. Well, it would be. Ironic, wouldn't it, for Colin Osborne to average 103 140. and lose to Martin Thomas yesterday. Then average in the mid-80s and beat him 24 hours later. But that might well be the case. Osborne has a darts in the decider. 140. Matched opening gambit by Martin Thomas. 81. 134. And outscored in the second turn to make it very, very interesting. Another treble to leave a finish here for the Middlesbrough man. And he finds one. 
95. Bit of a slip with that last Colin, start, just making it slightly more difficult for himself. That five points could make a lot of difference. May not matter. Could look at tops, tops here. Just thought that that dart might have been difficult 100. to get one past the flight and in the bed. He Martin, tees up tops in the 132. end. So, but for a champagne shot to steal the match, Osborne will return. But hang on. Well, he needed another bullseye. 92. Didn't get it. Leaves himself the same double as his opponent. 40. It was 4-3 when this pair met yesterday in Martin Thomas's favour. And he score. might yet repeat the trick because Osborne has just squandered three darts to win the match. Twenty. Well, that's what pressure does. Colin, you require forty. Thomas does the very same thing, and surely now Osborne will wrap it up. Four match darts miss. Game. But Shot. not a fifth. And, the match. and Colin, Colin Osborne, Osborne gets over the line in the end to return the 4-3 defeat that he had against Thomas yesterday. He averaged 103 in that match yesterday and lost. 87 was enough for him to win today. That 1-2-3 check out the highlight for the Wizard, who now moves into second place, just four points behind the league leader, Kevin Burness. Osborne wins 4-3. Next up, it's Aaron Monk against Fallon Sherrick, who makes her first appearance of the day. First leg, it's Aaron to throw first. Game on. Who was beaten in that match in the last leg? Decider. So a chance for someone to join Colin Osborne and really join the race to finish top of the table. Do get involved so on social media. Let us know who you think will progress from this group or who you would like to see progress from this group to finals night and the chance to 57. win that £6,000 first prize on Saturday at Darts Live League is our Twitter handle. You can get in touch with me as well at Chris Murphy 180 58 Did a little preview this morning with Phil Bars of online darts and Fallon Sherrick was in good spirits just gate crash that said hello to the viewers 100
109. And she two. greets you all with a maximum. Taking her tally for the tournament to 11. 50. So Sherrick launching an early assault on the Aaron Monk throw. Monk has won a match already today to put himself 43. in the mix. He beat Martin Thomas 4-2 in the opener and took out two ton plus checkouts in that one. 151 and 119 on the bullseye. 140. Fallon, you require 160. Two of five ton plus checkouts we've had already today. Not going to see a sixth here. 140. Aaron, you require 72. Double top. We'll seal the, the first leg way. for Aaron, Aaron Monk. Monk. Despite the maximum from Sherrick, it's Monk who gets on top by winning the first leg of this match he holds to lead 1-0. Second leg, it's Fallon to throw first. Ninety-six. When the pair met yesterday in the first of their three meetings. One hundred and forty. This week it was Aaron Monk who was a very convincing winner. He won the match 4-0. One hundred and forty. Fallon Sherrick will be determined to avoid the same score line here. 140. Starting on the 19s to ensure she leaves a finish. Needs a treble to do so. 86. Couldn't. After that wayward dart found the 7 segment. And Aaron Monk is looking to fill his boots here. And the boots are filled. And so is the treble 20. As Monk makes it four 180s for the 139. day. Just Aaron one away from matching 41. his tally for the entire day yesterday. Game brilliant, the brilliant leg of darts. Aaron Monk. Aaron Monk goes out in 11 to break the Sherrick throw and to win a six successive leg against Sherrick as he leads 2-0. Third leg, it's Aaron to throw first. Yeah, having won. 4-0 yesterday, proving to be something of a nemesis. 44. For the Queen of the Palace. 140. One hundred and twenty-five. One hundred. Ninety-seven. He's looking in much, much better shape today than he was yesterday, Aaron Monk. 95 and a half average in his opening match. He's averaging in three figures here. And Fallon Sherrick herself, despite trailing this match 2 0, is averaging 105. 84. 140. Once Fallon again, Monk 90. applies the pressure. Treble 20, the first port of call. Now she'll attempt it again. And now she'll attempt it the bullseye. 65. Sherrick Aaron, you require can't 38. find it. And may well find herself three legs behind. Double eight. Game and Aaron Monk is on Aaron the money Monk. again. A three-leg lead for Monk. 
And Fallon Sherrick, whatever she seems to do, she can't seem to get a leg of this man. He's one away from another 4 0 win. Fourth leg, it's Fallon to throw first. Well, three out of four on the outer ring for Aaron Monk. 56. So again, he's averaging in the mid 90s. Sherrick, after three legs, still in three figures. With her average, of course, she hasn't had opportunities to miss starts at double. Just one at the ball in the entire match. That was at the end of that 90 checkout in the last leg. Just shows the prowess of the Mad Monk so far. 100. Eighty-five. Still fighting. Balan Sherrick, a second maximum of the match. Ninety-six. One hundred and thirty three. Followed by an excellent setup shot, and now she will have some darts clear at double. Three of them at double sixteen when she comes 59. back. Fifty nine. Fallon, you require thirty two. To avoid Game a whitewash. And that is Fallon an excellent Sherrick. leg of darts from Fallon Sherrick. The thirteen darts are sealed on double sixteen to keep herself in the match and avoid. A whitewash defeat for the second day on the Fifth spin. Leg. It's Aaron to throw first. Against Aaron Monk. She's averaging here, Fallon Sherrick. 104.67 after that 13 data. 11 points higher than the man who's taken the first three legs of this match. She's certainly on it. One hundred and eighty. Aaron Monk wants to finish things off here. The highest average she's produced at the Online Darts Live League is 102.33. She could exceed that by some distance in defeat to Aaron Monk here. 140. One hundred. Aaron, you require eighty-two. Well, now he needs a bullseye. Fifty-seven. Fallon, you require one hundred and twenty-seven. Now she needs double eight. Game oh, Sean what a Fiddler. finish that is Fallon from Fallon Sherrick. 127 in game to stay in the game. 3-2 behind, but she has the darts now to force a deciding leg. Sixth leg, it's Fallon to throw first. After Monk had missed a match dart at the ball. That's all she's missed in this match 81. is one dart at the ball. And she's on course to post the highest average that we've ever seen her produce in a 60 online darts live league event the best average she's produced at any event is 110.3 that was a challenge to a victory against Perry Davenport Last year, it's not inconceivable that she could raise her average to that kind of figure here, but she may well still lose the match. Monk has now fired in three 180s in this one. He's hit five already today. That's as many as he hit. In fact, he's hit six already today. I'm losing count. Hit five all day yesterday. Much, much better stuff from Aaron Monk today. 
but even better from Fallon Sherrod gives herself another opportunity. Having just taken out the 127. 59. Can she add the 130? Fallon, you require 130. To wipe away that three leg lead that Aaron Monk opened up. Well, she can't. 58. But Monk, having only Aaron scored 59 102. in the previous visit, will only get one dart at best. Treble 14 for tops. He went for the ball. Missed it by some margin. 44. Probably a bad Fallon decision. You require 72. Treble 12. Well, 27 she scored. Just checking with the referee what's left. 45 is the answer. And now 32 is the answer. 40. But Fallon Sherrick for once does not have Aaron, the answer. You require 58. She's asked a lot of questions of Aaron Monk. But he thought that was in. Did you? 48. Well, he knows that's not. And Sherrick can Fallon, now. You require 32. Force a last leg shootout. She was 3-0 down in this match. Game shot on the six. But it's player. now 3-3. Three, three, a sensational fight back from Fallon Sherrick forcing a sudden death leg. Aaron Monk does have the darts in it, but Sherrick certainly has the momentum. Seventh and final leg. It's Aaron to throw first. Game on. It is a rarity to see a player come from three legs behind to win at the online darts live league. We've only seen it a handful of times. 82. 15 to be exact in all of the matches we've had played. We're moving towards 2000. So 140. Very rare event. But Aaron Monk has been on the wrong end of it before. Happened to him against Robert Thornton. And now Fallon is threatening to do the same thing here. Well, she's played absolutely superbly in this match. Not only was she 3-0 down in it, but she'd lost 95. seven legs on the spin to Aaron Monk, having been beaten 4-0 by him yesterday. And he's not left to finish. And Fallon Sherrick, in the last leg decider, hits back-to-back -back 180s to tee up an 11 data against the throw. What a comeback from Fallon Sherrick here. Monk... He's going to leave himself perfectly placed, but there is nothing he can do 59. to stop Fallon Sherrick completing a great escape. Yeah, a nod shot. from Monk. And, and what else can Fallon he do? Sherrick. What a win from Fallon Sherrick. Fallon fights back from 3-0 down to win. And look at the average, 104.76. Absolutely sensational stuff from Sherrick. It was all really smart with that 1-2-7 checkout which called herself back into contention. She comes from 3-0 down to win 4-3 against Aaron Monk, and that does not happen very often. What a performance from Fallon Sherrick. She puts herself firmly in the mix for the Group A title.
progress to finals night here at Champions Week at the Online Darts Live League is well and truly on after that brilliant comeback win from Fallon Sherrick in the last match. 3-0 behind against Aaron Monk and she went on to win it 4-3 with an average of almost 105 as well. She moves on to 10 points in joint second place with Colin Osborne. Kevin Benes leads the table on 14. Just behind them, Martin Thomas, the Welshman who is about to take on James Richardson. He's on eight, along with Aaron Monk and Richardson, bottom of the pile with work to do first on four. First it's Martin to throw first. Game on. We'll keep keeping you updated. I'm Chris Murphy talking you through the action today. This is match five of 22. 139. On this wonderful Wednesday. Darting delights, and we've seen plenty of darting delights already, haven't we? The 151 and 119 from Aaron Monk in a 4 2 win against Thomas in game one. 100. Thomas then went on to lose out 4 3 to Colin Osborne, and for the second successive day, he's lost his first two matches in Group A. 180. For the third maximum of the day. Sets him on his way to perhaps having a similar surge in the middle of the session to that which he produced 24 hours ago. 100. Losing his first two matches, but then winning four of his next five. 97. Martin, you require 82. 17 then for double top. To take the first leg. 42. Well, we've Danger seen require 160 the whole host of big finishers already today. We're not going to see this one. But we've had a 151, the 119 from Monk, 107 from Benes in his 4 3 win over Richardson, a 1 2 3 94. from Colin Osborne, a 108 from Thomas Martin in that defeat, 40. and also that brilliant 1 2 7 from Fallon Sherrick. But it's a simple 40 that Thomas wants here. Game well, he didn't make it look leg. simple, Martin but Thomas. he did get there in the end. And Martin Thomas takes the first leg against James Richardson, who really needs to find something. Stuck at the bottom of the table and one down Second in this leg. one. It's James to throw first. Game on. 60. One hundred and forty. Eighty five. One hundred. Ninety-nine. James should require one hundred and forty. Richardson can try and settle himself down here. This would be a super settler. One hundred and seventeen. You can't add to the roll of big finishes that we've had already. Ninety-six. But he will come back with three James darts in hand 24. and double twelve in his sights, and now double six. Game shot on the second Once row. again, he James perfectly Richardson. executes that step as he adjusts to the eastern side of the board and he gets himself on the board in this match. 1-1. One, one. Third leg. It's Martin to throw first. Game on. He's very proficient in doing that, James Richardson. When he steps to a certain position, he seems to hit more often than not. 100. Double 10, double 6, ETC. I wonder why he doesn't just start in that position in the first place. He'd hit everything. 
He'd win everything. 100. And many fancied him to win this group at the start of the week, but James Richardson 100. finds himself at the bottom of the table and four points adrift of the rest of the field. Six Ten three. behind the league leader, Kevin Burness, and with a lot of work to do. One hundred. Fifty-eight. When he played Martin Thomas yesterday, he was beaten by four legs to two. One hundred. 100. Martin, you require 101. 101. And double 12 would see Thomas 77. take the lead again and still will if he hits it when he returns. 99. Martin, you require 24. Game shot on the third. And he does hit it Martin on his Thomas. return and returns into the lead in this match. Everything we've thrown so far. So the Welshman, Martin Thomas, leads 2 1 against the bottom of the table, James Fourth Richardson. Leg. It's James to throw first. Game on. What can he find? What can the Russian man muster up? 41. He needs to find some diamond darts, and he's not dazzling here. One hundred and thirty-seven. It will be Aaron Monk against Kevin Burness. One hundred. Next, and then Fallon Sherrick against Colin Osborne in the thirtieth match of Group A. Forty-three. Meaning everybody would have played each other twice at the end of that one, and we have a straight run. The last 15 matches, everybody to meet 100. once more between now and around 4 p.m. today. 26. <laughs> 100. Sixty. James, you require one hundred and sixty. Plenty of time for Richardson to clean this up. One hundred. Which should be bullseye now for Thomas. Sixty-five. The Twenty-five, ensuring James that he leaves 60. himself on a finish. Wow. Well, it'll be a good marker. Actually, he won't because he's blocked the route to it. Game but he's managed to player. use it. Well, an orthodox that from James Richardson, putting a marker in when he needed 60 with the first start. Quite remarkable stuff from Richardson, but he manages to. Fifth leg, it's Martin throwing first. Get rid of the mistake. Doesn't cost him. 100. And Martin Thomas there was almost impatient to get back to the hockey and. help himself 96. get back in front in this match. Yeah, James Richardson there, but it just shows, doesn't it, that his confidence levels... 100. His game is not where he wants it to be. The fact that he was able to go out aside, missing not just the single 20, but the entire 43. scoring segment of the board with his first start there. Shades of Andy 100. Hamilton in a famous. Match against Phil Taylor, you may recall. 100. And he surrendered a lead with some shakiness around a decade ago. 
The big story so yards. far here at the Online Darts Live League is Fallon Cherrick's brilliant comeback win against Aaron Monk in the last match. If you weren't watching it, you might want to, at the end of today's action, rewind through 92. the YouTube Martin broadcast. 62. What a win it was from 3-0 down to 4-3 for Sherrick. Game shot on the Thomas. Flag. Martin Thomas. He's back on top in this one. A nice clean kill of that 62 to move one ahead and one away from the win. Sixth leg. It's James to throw first. Game on. Well, it is looking extremely likely 100. at this stage if he loses this match, James Richardson, that he's going to end up in Group C coming back here tomorrow morning and on Friday. 125. With Chaz Barstow and Richie Burnett. 41. Along with Jamie Kelling and Jim Williams, all of whom finished third in their respective weeks. James Richardson, of course, won his, which is why he earned himself a spot in Group A. Be those for the bottom place player in this group and the fifth place player in this group that will be back tomorrow morning and on Friday morning for a second bite for those two that reaching finals night. The top two from that group progressing, the top three from Group C. That's why it's from Group B. Sorry, why it's more important. Sixty. Martin, you require one hundred and thirty-six. The bottom and out of the bottom two places. Because Mark Webster and Wayne Warren will join the second, 45. third and fourth players from this group in Group B. With three from five progressing as opposed to two from six in Group C. Thomas here closing in on a first win of the 60. day. Having done exactly what Martin he did yesterday, losing 91. his first two matches. He then went on something of a surge, winning four from his next five. 59. Is that surge about to start again? 60. As I said yesterday, after the first two games, it looked like Martin, you require 32. Thomas, the tanked engine. Game but he's on track shot. now and the match. to launch Thomas. a bid to finish top of the table or at least to seal one of those spots in Group B. Good value for the win, a 4-2 success over James Richardson who's really struggling on this Champions Week and finds himself cut adrift at the bottom of the Group A table. Thomas wins it, 4-2. It will be the league leader in action next, Kevin Benes. Can Aaron Monk peg him back? The action comes thick and fast here at the Online Darts Live League. Short format matches, 22 of them over the course of this day. And we have the league leader in action in Kevin Benes, the Iron Man, going up against Aaron Monk, 
the former World Youth Champion in the sixth of those 22 matches. And there you can see the state of play. Vaness looking to pull further clear at the top of the table. Aaron Monk in fifth first place right it's now. Aaron to throw first. Looking to join the chasing Game pack on. on 10 points and see if he can just reel in Kevin Vaness. He was reeled in himself in his last match when he was 3-0 up against Fallon Sherrick, who produced a stunning comeback to 43. win that match 4-3. A defeat that followed an earlier win for Monk over Martin Thomas. Vaness continued his winning 60. ways in his opener today, seeing off James Richardson 4-3. Richardson has just been beaten by Thomas 4-2 and remains cut adrift at the bottom of the Group A table. 59. One hundred. Vaness did beat Monk when they met yesterday with a 4-2 success of his own. 140. 100. 97. Well, no finish for Aaron Monk when he comes back. 85. There is for Benes, but it is a huge one. Although we have seen plenty of big finishers already today. The best of them coming from this man, 151 in his very first leg of the morning. Kevin, you require 156. Can Benes beat it? Well, he threatened it, but the second dart straying into the wrong segment. 92. Aaron, you require 40. Game shot Aaron the Monk. first leg. Aaron Monk. Usually mustered on that double top, and he hits it again to take the first leg against the league leader, Kevin Vaness. Can Monk halt the charge? Second leg. It's Kevin to throw first. Game on. Eighty-three. Forty-four. One hundred and forty. One hundred and thirty four. Sixty. Seventy eight. Forty-three, eighty-five, fifty-eight. Aaron, you require one hundred and sixty. Well, to beat his own highest finish of the day, another. Can't quite manage it, but he can leave himself 84. in a good spot if Benes Kevin, you require cannot complete this combination. 57. Can't be found, and Aaron Monk may move too clear against the Iron Man. 40. Aaron, you require 76. He's produced some decent stuff today, Aaron Monk. But this would be a huge leap, not just for him for the rest of the field on the second leg. and he manages Aramont. to salvage that situation having misfired into the double 16 to leave himself double 12 but he hit it to open up a two leg gap Third leg. It's Aaron to throw first. against the table topper Kevin Burness yeah Monk averaged 
85. 95 and a half in that 4-2 win over Martin Thomas and then 97 and change in his defeat to the exceptional Fallon Sherrick who produced a great escape comeback averaging 104.67 the best we've seen so far today from any player 83 140 Seventy-eight. One hundred and forty. Sixty-five. Aaron, you require one hundred and fourteen. So to move three clear, just as he did against Sherrick. Seventy-four. Well, Baness needs a big finish Aaron, to stop him. One hundred and forty. But he might just get it. He might just get it. Double ten. Well, what a way that would have been to halt the charge Aaron, of Monk in the match. But Monk threatening to halt the charge of Baness in the league. Games and he the finds a target that his Aaron. opponent couldn't. And Aaron Monk, well, for the second match on the spin, has a 3-0 lead. We all know what happened last time. Can Monk make sure it doesn't happen Fourth again? Leg. It's Kevin to throw first. Game on. Eighty-five. It would make things rather more interesting if Monk were able to close this out because Baness would be just pegged back on 14, 14 points and would stay just four clear of the rest of the field, including Aaron Monk, if he were to win this. But he'd find himself eight points behind Baness if Baness were to seal a comeback win. The first 180 of the match will certainly aid his cause. That's Kevin's 14th 43. in this group. But it's getting neatly bunched up, and there's an interesting race for the top of the table, of course. But 99. remember, second, third, and fourth will be in Group B, which is advantageous in the Online Darts Live League, rather than Group C. But if Monk wins this match, then second, Kevin third, fourth, and fifth will all be on the same points. 93. So it looks like Baness is going to avoid the whitewash defeat. 140. Kevin, you Can he avoid defeat 44. altogether? The first small step can be taken Game on double 16 and is taken. Baness will not be bageled here by Aaron Monk this morning. But Monk now throwing to topple the league leader in this match. Fifth leg, it's Aaron to throw first. 125. 140. In terms of the average, it's actually Aaron Monk's poorest showing so far of the day. 54. It may well be enough to beat the table topper Kevin Baness and just keep the chasing pack chasing. 100. Fallon Sherrick and Colin Osborne are two of those players in that chasing pack, and if Monk can wrap up the win here. One of them will move within two 82. points of Kevin Baness. One hundred and twenty-three. Ninety-five. 
Kevin, you require 138. Well, he's put himself in a decent position to break here, has Baness. And Aaron Monk will be thinking, 98. oh no, not again. Aaron, you require The best way to get rid of that thought is to get rid of the 145. 130. Well, Monk couldn't manage that. Kevin, you require 40. An accidental bull has left him a, a dodgier finish should he come back. Game but he won't come player. back. Kevin Burness. Is Kevin Burness on the comeback trail? Aaron Monk led this match 3-0, but Burness has broken and is now throwing to tie things up at three apiece. We've been here before, Secret, Aaron. It's Kevin to throw first. Game on. If you are just joining us, in the last match that Aaron Monk played just half an hour ago, he led Fallon Sherrick. 100. 3-0. And she came back to beat him 4-3. It's only the 16th time it's happened in more than... 177. 1,800 matches at the Online Darts Live League. 100. Aaron Monk determined that it doesn't happen for a 17th time here. So the 177 start 60. might just banish a few thoughts out of his mind. It was by no means an Aaron Monk capitulation. Let's get that right. It was brilliant from Sherrick. Coming back to win that previous 100. match, posting the best average of the day, 104.67. 100. Aaron, you require 164. Treble 18. Oh, not far away. 84. Kevin, you require 160. Now Baness to save his skin. To stay alive in the match, he can't. But Aaron Monk has been going tops top for this Aaron, all week. Will he employ the same route? He does. He gets a dart at tops Game. to Shots. topple and the match. Kevin Benes, the man Monk. sitting on top of the group A table. Aaron Monk has just blown it wide open with another. Decent performance, an average of more than 90 in the end. The checking out was very, very good from Aaron Monk as well. But that crucial 80 finish, just fending off a fight back from Baness and seeing him move on to 10 points with Fallon Sherrick and Colin Osborne. One of them will move within two of the league leader. Aaron Monk has just blown this group wide open.
reaction here at the Online Darts Live League. It is Champions Week, and we are seeing the end of Group A today. Fallon Sherrick and Colin Osborne both have 10 points, and one of them will move within two of the league leader, Kevin Benes, who's just been beaten by Aaron Monk to really open up this group. Whoever wins this one will be in second place outright. Colin Osborne currently there on leg difference, but four players tied for second spot. James Richardson cut adrift at the bottom of the table. Okay, first leg, it's Fallon to throw first. Game on. So Sherrick has the darts, and that after a stunning comeback win against Aaron Monk in her last match, 3-0 behind. She went on to win it 4-3. Posting the highest average of the morning so far. 104.76. Colin Osborne in action for the second Eight time today. Three. He won his first match 4-3 against Martin Thomas. Well, Sherrick seems to be carrying on where she left off against Monk. She fires in her fifth 180. Of the morning. Good morning if you are just joining us. It has been a good morning here at the Online Darts Live League. I'm Chris Murphy talking you through the action. At the end of this match, everybody would have played each other twice and the league table will really be starting to take shape. With 15 matches still to go, they'll all play each other again. The winner of this group progresses straight through to finals night and will put their feet up while the rest of the field battle it out with Fallon, you're incoming 98. players for the rest of the week. More on that in a moment. Sherrick here. Sure well, what a start. An 11 data in the last leg of a last match to beat Aaron Monk and an 11 data in the first leg of this one against Colin Osborne. Fallon is on fire. Second leg, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. Sixty. As I was saying, it's a really important race. All those players on ten points. Fifty-nine. Not only trying to catch Kevin Benes, who has fourteen, but also trying to at least put themselves in Group B, which Eight takes five. place from ten p.m. on both Thursday and Friday evening. Just five players in that, and three of them go through. It will be second, third, and fourth place from this group joining 60. runners up from their weekly stages when Warren and Mark Webster, the Welsh duo, both former world champions, excellent Ooh, pedigree cool. added to the field. The fifth and sixth place from this group, James Richardson looking likely to be one of them, will join Jamie Kelling, Jim Williams, Chaz Barstow, and Richie Burnett. One. 180. Well, the way Fallon Sherrick is playing, not only will she probably occupy one of those top four spots, but she's going to threaten Kevin Benes for first place. 59. She's fired in two maximums in this match. She won't go for another here. Probably the bullseye. 134. Decided to go for treble 14 instead, but after 12 darts against the throw, she's on a 68 finish. 30. That so would see a winner six successive leg in some sensational surge. From 3 0 down Game behind against Aaron Monk, leg. and she's at it again. Fallon Sherrick. Fallon Sherrick, an absolutely brilliant start to this match, just picking up where she left off in the last one. She leads Colin Osborne by two legs to nil. Third leg, it's Fallon to throw first. Game on. 97. Don't want to get overly excited about averages, but Fallon Sherrick going into this leg is averaging 115.62. She's av averaged 110 before in a challenge to a match. But the way she's playing at the moment, we might well see Sherrick 96. produce the best ever performance that she's recorded. 
course, any win One will not be hundred. the same magnitude as which she's achieved in her career. None more so than those two on the Alexandra Palace stage, but 58. she's certainly advancing her cause and growing her reputation with these 100. performances at the Online Darts Live League. Not as a female darts player, but as a darts player. 140. She would, of course, be eyeing up a spot at the Grand Slam and at the World Championship again when she heads to compete in the PDC Women's Series. Those events just around the corner. 12 of them this year. Sherrod. Narrowly missed out 78. on a world championship well, spot in cruel fashion last time around. Missed out by virtue of legs one. 57. For Dieter Hedman. Well, and you required 32. Double 16 then to win this leg. Only about half the bed to aim at here, Fallon no Sherrick, and she can't find it. Colin, you require 44. Well, it's been a long time since she lost a leg. She's won her last six. She's still beating herself up in the background. And Game she watches on, on as the Wizards Colin wand Osborne. pierces double top. And Osborne is back in this match. She halves a deficit with the break of throw. 2-1 though, still to Sherrick. Fourth leg, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. One hundred. Fifty seven. Sixty. One hundred and thirty four. Doing her very best to break straight back here, Fallon Sherrick. 135. And advance her ambitions of finishing top of the Group A table. 99. 44. Fallon, you require 78. 74 left now. 32 left now. Just 62. struggling on that particular double in the last couple of legs. Colin, you require 160. And she has to hope that Colin Osborne cannot produce the 160 checkout, but her hopes have turned to prayers, and her prayers have been answered. She did beat Osborne when they met Alan yesterday. She won the match 4 2. Game shot. She four opens play. up a two Fallon leg Sherrick. lead in this one. Fallon Sherrick breaks straight back and moves within one leg of a second win against Colin Osborne in as many days. Fifth leg, it's Fallon to throw first. Game up. And. Within one leg of a second victory of the day and a second match of the day. 100. 100. 
140. One hundred and forty. Level pegging in this leg, but Sherrick has the advantage of throwing first, and she's determined to make it count. Ninety-seven. Sixty-eight. And she now has two visits. To finish off Colin Osborne. And to make it two wins 100. from two. On day two of Group A at Champions Week. Fifty nine. Balan She may well 64. end up being the Group A champion if she carries on like this. Kevin Vanessa League leader up next, but Fallon Sherrick is James going to be breathing down his neck Fallon because Sherrick. she has just sealed a four-worn win against Colin Osborne to add to that brilliant comeback against Aaron Monk earlier on. An average of more than 104 in that one. It's 96 and change here, but it's another exceptional display from Fallon Sherrick, which sees her move above Osborne and into second place in the league table. Just two points behind the league leader, Kevin Burness, who is in action next against the Welshman, Martin Thomas.
Welcome back. I'm Chris Murphy talking you through the action here on Champions Week at the Online Darts Live League. And Group A is taking shape. Everybody has played each other twice now. And Kevin Benest, well, he was the runaway leader overnight, but he has been pegged back, beaten by Aaron Monk a couple of games ago. And Fallon Sherrick is flying here at the Online Darts Live League. She's just beaten Colin Osborne to move within two points of Benes. Martin okay, Thomas looking to join her to throw first. on 12 points Game on. here. Benes looking to restore a four-point cushion at the top of the Group A table. 137. A pair of them, well, they met twice yesterday and... Benes won both of those meetings, 4-2 in the first match of Group A and 4-0 in the next meeting. 100. 140. 100. Fallon Sherrick has been the main story of the day so far. Particularly a performance in a comeback win against Aaron Monk earlier. 3 0 down 60. to a 4 3 success. An average of 104.76. The best of the day so far. The best of the event so far came from this man, Vaness, 106.83 in his 4 2 win 100. over Colin Osborne yesterday. Fifty eight. Kevin, you require 64. He's looking to take the first leg with ease, really, here against Martin Thomas. Double eight will do it. Game Double eight does leg. do it for the Kevin Iron Man, Burnett. who shows nerves of steel in the opener. He knows that the chasing pack are coming for him, but he's determined to fend them off. Benest ahead, 1 0. Second leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. Thomas certainly among that chasing pack, though he has lost his first two games today once again before winning his uh, third. Won. A victory against James Richardson. The man who is bottom of the pile and has been throughout. 180. That is Kevin's 15th maximum 60. of this group phase. He's won week three by winning 100. Group A. And he's looking to win Group A on Champions Week as well. And then it will be feet up for the Northern Irishman as he waits 60. for finals night. Where the carrot is waiting in the form of a £6,000 winner's 60. check. Still some big names to join the action over the next couple of days. The likes of Mark Webster, Wayne Warren, Richie Bennett, three Welsh former world champions. Yeah, but Bennett's having it all his own way here so far. 46. Just seems to have the beating of Martin Thomas, but that visit will just... Offer some level of encouragement to Thomas. 127. Kevin, you require a loose last start from the Welshman. But he will come back. 59. Looking to level Martin, up this match at one apiece. And double top. Game shown the He's second Taken leg. out by Thomas. Martin Thomas. It was all going swimmingly for Benes at the start of this one, but Martin Thomas has just stemmed the tide and tied it up at one apiece. Third gets Kevin to throw first. Game on. One hundred and forty. Fifty. 
41. Forty-seven. One hundred and eighty. Vaness running away with this leg on his own throw by virtue of that maximum, his second of the match. Kevin, you're recording 140. Just try and leave tops here, Eight. and he'll do that. 100. The Iron Man on fine form on this Champions Week. 180. Kevin, you require 40. Break his steel. Perhaps it has. 35. The 180 from Martin Thomas may have just unnerved Martin, Kevin Vaness. And now Thomas can try and take out the 124 to follow it. 54 for the bull. For the bull. 99. Well, it would have been unbelievable, wouldn't it, for Kevin, Kevin Vaness. Five. He was nodding as if to say this is going to go. It looked like the leg might have gotten away from him. Game shot on the third He's day. managed to save Kevin it. Kevin Burnett. With a last start in hand checkout on double two. A little joke shared between the pair. I wonder if Thomas was just questioning whether it was in. Well, it clearly was. And Kevin well, Burnett Martin to is throw back throws. on top. Game on. He is a, a jovial kind of character, Martin Thomas. 42. The Welshman who recently reached his first final on the Challenge Tour. 85. The bricklayer from Aberystwyth. 5. Has appeared at the UK Open 11. Finals earlier this year. Ninety-six. Has been playing most of his darts on the Challenge Tour for the last five or six 98. years. Ninety-eight. One hundred. Vanessa, of course, a man who has graced. The greatest stage in this sport. 100. And he played in the World Championship a couple of times, 2019 and 2020. A famous win for him 100. in 2019 over our very own Paul Nicholson. Before losing out to 55. Gary Anderson. And you require 120. In the following round. Well, from Scotland to Shanghai. Game shot on the fourth leg. Kevin Vaness takes Burnett. out the Shanghai shots to open up a two-leg gap in this match. And he will now throw to see off Martin Thomas 4-1 and to make it three wins out of three against the Welshman. Leg, it's Kevin to throw first. Game on. Eighty-five. Vanessa's return to the World Championship a year later. He was beaten by Yella Clarsen in the first round. One It looks like he's got the beating of Martin Thomas here this week. 85. This Champions Week at the Online Darts Live League. 140. 76. Kevin, you require 136. He won't wrap it up in this visit, but you'd expect him to do so in the next. 
78. One hundred. Kevin, you require fifty eight. Game and he does shot on the match. To win the Kevin match Burnett. for one and to restore the four point lead at the top of the group air table. Baness, very, very good value for that win. More than ten points better off in terms of the averages there. A brilliant one twenty, check out the highlight, and a couple of maximums as well for the league leader, Kevin Baness. He's not completely sealed the top spot yet but we will see the chasing pack in action over the next couple of matches Aaron Monk against Colin Osborne coming up next before Fallon Sherrick continues her bid to try and topple Baness from the top of the table
short break. The action continues here at the Online Darts Live League Champions Week. I'm Chris Murphy talking you through the action here on the Online Darts YouTube channel. And Kevin Benes has just beaten Martin Thomas to strengthen his position at the top of the Group A table. Benes on 14 points. Sorry, 16 points. Four clear of Fallon Sherrick in second. Okay, first leg, it's Aaron to throw first. And then the Manny beat in the Aim last on. match, Martin Thomas, and this pair of players all on 10 points. So the winner of this one... 97. ...will join Sherrick in second spot in the Group A table. 140. The loser, well, you would think remaining six points behind Benes with four games left might prove to be a bridge too far in terms of trying to finish top of the table. Of course, the winner progressing straight through to 45. finals night. No need to carry on. Going around the Monopoly board. One hundred straight pass to the lucrative Saturday night in which the winner of phase three of the online darts live league will be rewarded handsomely Aaron, you're with a six thousand pounds check. Well, no check out for Colin Osborne, so Monk didn't need to check this out. Sixty. But he will be disappointed to have only managed 60 points there. He beat Colin Osborne in their first meeting of the group, 4-3. But Osborne got his revenge towards the end of yesterday's one session when hundred. he recorded a 4-1 record win against seven. Monk. Well, that leaves 98, so treble 20. All that for the bull. 73. Well, that's the kind of thing he likes to do at the Online Darts Live League, Aaron Monk. require 160. Maybe. He should have been more sensible. 76. Well, he will come back. Aaron, you require 34. For the lesser scene, double 17. Game Which he hit. First leg. To Aaron take. Monk. The first leg and an orthodox end to the leg with Monk attempting 48 for the bullseye, but then going out on double 17 to take the lead in the match. Second leg, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. Forty-three. Well, only 43 from Osborne in the opening visit here. Gives Monk a real chance to launch an assault on his opponent's throw. 99. 58. Kevin Benes with that victory. Over Martin Thomas, made 100. it two wins from three so far today. Fallon Sherrick currently on two out of two. Including a comeback victory against the Monk earlier this morning. 85. The best performance of the day so far. Sherrick averaging 104.76. And plenty of you are getting in touch to praise the Queen of the Palace via our social media. This morning at Darts Live League. 44. You can also get in touch with me at Chris Murphy 180 on Twitter. Let us know your thoughts. Are you enjoying the action? Who would you like to see win? Who do you think will win? Group A and the whole thing, the whole Champions Week. Still the likes of Mark Webster, and Richie Burnett, Wayne Warren, and Jim Williams to join the action. Williams, who had a wonderful weekend at the Challenge Tour. 45. Aaron, you require 118. Well, Osborne not happy with his performance so far in this one. 
Monk will attempt again. 52. The 48 so bullseye checkout. Again, it doesn't come off. Fifty-four. Aaron in requires sixty-six. Oh, he needed the single one. Forty-five. Last, the last start, start didn't count Colin because Aaron Monk three under arm. Our match official Owen Binks keeping a a BDI out of the corner of one eye on the throw of the players as well as calling out the numbers and staying fixed on the board. This time it's Osborne's turn to miss a big number. He won't waste his last start. Forty-four. Aaron, you require twenty-one. Thirteen. And perhaps Aaron Monk will wish that he hadn't wasted Colin, you require thirty-two. the dart himself. Double sixteen to level up. Double eight then for Osborne. Game shot on the and he second sneaks leg. it in the corner. Colin Osborne. To sneak the leg. It is a hold of throw for Colin Osborne, that one. But it won't feel like it. He was well behind in it. And Monk perhaps threw it away. But he ties up. But one apiece. Third leg, it's Aaron to throw first. Game up. One hundred and forty. Eighty five. One hundred. Sixty. Ninety five. Sixty. Ninety-eight. Monk on the brink of regaining that lead. Well, Aaron Monk had a, a throw disqualified for being under arm earlier on. Colin Osborne, it was deemed dropped that dart rather than threw it. The wry smile for Monk. He's desperate to say something, Aaron isn't he? Well, I think Owen Binks has got it right on each occasion. Double top for Aaron Monk. 28. It's a wire bender. Colin, you require 156. And Osborne has an outside chance to claim the leg. Eighty-three. Aaron, you require forty. Game shot on the third leg. The monk Aaron is a man who claims the leg. He's back on top after three. Everything on throw so far in this one. Monk leads by two legs to one. Fourth leg, it's Collins to throw first. Game on. Eighty-five. Forty-one. One hundred. 
coming up after this match. It will be Fallon Sherrick looking to make it three wins out of three today. And she takes on the bottom placed James Richardson, who has had an uncharacteristically 60. poor week so far here at the Online Darts Live League. And following that, Colin Osborne will oh, return for a clash with the league leader, Kevin Burness. One hundred. Ninety-nine. Colin, you require one hundred and fifty-six. So six starts at this. Osborne has. One hundred. We'll use at least five. 121. And is Colin, under some pressure six. from Aaron Monk, who leaves himself on the very same finish. Both players, big, big double top merchants, but Osborne can't find it on this occasion. Game show on the Covers himself, player. though, on Colin double Osborne. 10. A little quizzical look towards the board there, Colin Osborne, but he will be feeling a little bit better now. He ties up this match at 2-2. Two -two. Flag it's Aaron to throw first. Game on. Just needs to raise his game a little bit. Osborne has averaged 44. less than 80 in the last match and he's in that kind of range again here. He knows he's not playing at the... 85. Levels that he's produced, not just yesterday, but when he ended up in fourth place on week four. 59. Fifty-nine. Of course, it is. One hundred and twenty winners, runners up, and third places from those four weeks of action that make finals night. But Osborne, I remind you, was a late replacement for the very unfortunate week to week champion Conan Whitehead. He was forced to miss out through no fault of his own, fulfilling self-isolation obligations. Well, Aaron Monk was peering over the shoulder of Osborne there as he watched him weigh in with a maximum. Can he answer it? By reeling in the big fish. 122. Well, Osborne looked kind of resigned to the fact that that was going to happen. 42. It was a, a great attempt by Aaron Monk. But Osborne is on tops and now tens. And Aims again, on the fifth it leg. comes to his aid. Colin Osborne. And Colin Osborne hits the front in this match for the first time. He leads Aaron Monk 3-2 and will throw to win the game. Sick flag, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. And a win here for Colin Osborne would move him onto the same points as Fallon Sherrick. 97. Would be in second place on legs difference. If Aaron Monk could win the next two legs, the same applies to him. 180. And he's applied himself well there. In fact, the last five darts that he's thrown at that target have found it. 59. Well, that run comes to an end. 55. Needed a treble, really, with the final dart, but not that treble. And Colin Osborne will look... To steal a march in this leg. 
the biggest 180 hitter of the week so far. Colin Osborne. 140. Furious as he retrieves his darts from the board that he didn't fill that up. But Osborne has only actually hit... 95. Aaron, you require 100. A couple of 180s today, adding to his tally of 17 from yesterday. Now Monk wants the ball. 101. But he's getting closer, but not close enough. Colin, you require 110. Has attempted it three times in this match and failed to find it. And Osborne can still take this out, though not now. 54. Aaron, you require 25. So double eight will force a last leg shootout. On the sixth flight. And Aaron Monk breaks Aaron Monk. to take us all the way down to a seventh and deciding leg in this one in the battle to move into second place. Seventh and final leg, it's Aaron to throw first. Game Whoever on. wins this leg will be in second in the table on the same points as Fallon Sherrick, but with a better leg difference. 81. And four behind. The league leader, Kevin Burness with Sherrick playing her game in hand 97. next. Against 134. The basement boy of Group A, James Richardson, who's struggled to lift himself off the bottom of the table. 43. Forty-five. Well, some fury there from Aaron Monk. Just needs to 45. simmer down. Eighty-six. We did manage to compose himself for that last start and. Showed why he should. Make sure he takes care with every single dart. 123. Colin Osborne needed every single dart to find the treble 20 there. And now he's handed Monk the opportunity to wrap up this win. Seventy-nine. So one three seven Aaron there. Eighteen. Aaron Monk to leave himself on double nine. That's not what he was intending. Game but he hits it the all match. the same. Aaron Monk to take the last leg shootout. He wins four three against Colin Osborne, and Aaron Monk moves into second place in the Group A table. There you see the stats. Aaron Monk hitting a third of his. Double attempts in that match. The double nine to win it, the most important in a last leg decider, having won the last two legs to topple Colin Osborne and move himself into second place. Level on points with Fallon Sherrick, who takes on bottom place James Richardson in the next match here at the Online Darts Live League.
Welcome back to the action here at the Online Darts Live League Champions Week, where Kevin Burness is setting the standard and is topping the table in Group A. Aaron Monk has just moved into second spot with the win over Colin Osborne on the same points as Fallon Sherrick, who will play her game in hand here against bottom of the table, James Richardson. If Sherrick can win the match, she will move within two points of Kevin Burness with him still to play. Okay, first leg, it's Fallon to throw first. Game on. Fallon is flying on Wednesday here on Champions Week. She's beaten Aaron Monk from 3-0 behind. Then she's then seen off Colin Osborne 4-1. And if she can inflict defeat on James Richardson here, then she'll really put herself in contention to actually top the Easy. table and progress straight through to finals night. Richardson still with only two wins to his name, but one of them was against Fallon Sherrick, who beat him 4-3 in their first meeting of the group, but lost 4-1 to Ruthless Richardson in their second yesterday. This is game 10 of 22 that we're bringing you 99. live back-to-back. -back as group A comes to an end. 135. 60. 43. Well, a bit of a poor visit from Sherrick. Richardson ensuring he 92. leaves the checkout with Sherrick not on one after a dozen darts. Visits like that have been few and far between for Fallon today. 100. She goes somewhere to making amends. And she will be back looking at 87 to take the first leg. 105. Fallon, you require 87. May only be a dart at the bullseye. That's all she's got. Oh, and it was all she needed. It bounced straight out of the bullseye. That James, you might 65. have just clipped the inside of the wire, but that is very, very unfortunate for Fallon Sherrick. As James Richardson will look at 19 for double top. 45. Well, she gets another go. Go on, Fallon. Fallon throw it in 50. the bullseye. She's more sensible than me. 18. But that's now James three darts missed to hold her throw in this first leg. And James Richardson James on the first takes leg. it James Richardson. on double 10 against a throw. And the man at the bottom of the table might be about to stop Fallon Sherrick's charge towards the top. Richardson leads 1-0. Second leg, it's James to throw first. Game on. I have to say, that bounce out of the bullseye was brutal. 45. For Fallon Sherrick. The leg should have been in the ledger under her name. But instead, Ruthless Richardson was afforded the opportunity to take it and did take it. One hundred. Fifty nine. One hundred and forty. One hundred and forty. James, you require seventy six. Richardson cruising to the second leg, it seems. Double top. We'll seal it for him. 56. 
Hasn't quite managed it yet. James Richardson is a man who's hit 158 20. 180s in 130 matches before today. Game shot on the second leg. But he hasn't hit one yet James all day in the online darts live league. However, he has hit double 10 twice to give himself a 2 0 lead against Fallon Sherrick here. Third leg, it's Fallon to throw first. Game on. And Fallon in need of another comeback win. Not quite yet in the same position she was against Aaron Monk earlier today. And certainly not playing as well as she did against Monk in that win. Performance level has dropped significantly for this one. Fallon had been firing on all cylinders coming into this match. 83. Eighty-three. Well, has she found it now? One hundred and twenty. Bit of bad fortune again for Fallon Sherrick. May well have been a one eighty. May well have won the first leg had the bullseye stayed in. Forty-five. She will have the opportunity to win this leg. 180. With the aid of her seventh maximum of the day, her 17th of the group. She's closing in 60. on Colin Osborne, who's got 19 74. and tops that particular stat. 63 remaining, no need to go for the bull. Well, she's found the 42. treble six there, so just tease up double 16 for her return. What kind of pressure can Richardson apply? One hundred and seventy-seven. He hasn't hit a 180 all day, but he has now hit a 177. Game shot on the third leg. It matters not. Fallon Sherrick. Fallon plants the dart in the double 16, and Sherrick is back in the match. He trails James Richardson by two legs to one. Fourth leg, it's James to throw first. Game on. One hundred fifty eight. Sixty. Ninety-nine. One hundred and forty. Richardson closing in on a 3-1 lead in this one. 61 after a dozen darts to... 140. Put himself Game on the brink 61. of restoring that two-leg cushion. Double top will do that, and he's in double top. James he's Richardson. in command of this match, and perhaps on course for winning for just a third time in this group. Fallon Sherrick has work to do if she is to move into second place. If leg, it's Fallon to throw first. Game on. Maybe not as a dramatic a comeback as it might seem here for Fallon Sherrick, considering she does have 59. the darts in two of the last three legs. Forty-four. 
91. Sixty. Richardson will feel he has a sniff here of getting the job done in this leg. Uh, Eighty-three. Ninety-nine. One hundred and forty. Well, the first one eighty of the day still evades him, but he has left to finish first. One hundred and forty. Fallon Danger firing back. Forty-three. Fallon fighting back. Will a hundred checkout be the start 64. of the fight back? Fallon, you require one hundred. For Fallon Sherrick, surely tops tops here. Give it enough. 60. She does tee up tops, but has to rely 70. on Richardson. Missing an opportunity here. Double 11. Can't afford to come Dane inside. He doesn't. He finds the target Richardson. and gets his first win of the day against a player who hadn't been beaten before today. Her performance level dropped dramatically for that one, and James Richardson took full advantage, getting a third win of the group stage. With a 4-1 success over Fallon Sherrick, who remains on 12 points in third place in Group A, with Colin Osborne taking on the league leader, Kevin Burness, next. <laughs> Welcome back to the action here on Champions Week at the Online Darts Live League. And we are going to see Kevin Vaness, the group leader 
look to take a giant step towards qualification for finals nights when he faces Colin Osborne in the match next up here in Group A. Vanessa topping the table on 16 points with two players on 12 behind him. So a win here for Vanessa would stretch his lead to six points. Okay, first leg, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. With just four matches left for the rest of the field and would effectively rule everybody but Fallon Sherrick and Aaron Monk out of catching him. 135. Both of those players still have to play Benesse, so nothing will be decided here in terms of winning the group, but perhaps it will make it all but impossible for Colin Osborne to do so, and certainly impossible uh, already for five. James Richardson to do so. We'll start to battle it out for places in Group 45. B, which is advantageous if you haven't watched uh, a full week of Online Darts Live League before. 90. What happens is the winner of Group A goes straight through to finals night and does not need to participate 41. in the action on Thursday and Friday. Second, third, and fourth place will join Mark Webster and Wayne Warren in Group B, from which three uh, players four. will progress to finals nights. And the last two spots, fifth and sixth in this group, currently occupied by James Richardson. 50. Colin, you reckon we're 106. And Martin Thomas will play in Group C tomorrow morning and Friday morning, with just two players progressing to finals night, Richie Burnett. Jamie Kelly, Chaz Barstow and Jim Williams joining them. And then on finals night, 100. the winner of the what grand final eight. will win £6,000. Well, Vanessa is edging ever closer to booking his place at finals night by topping Group A. Game shot Colin Osborne first is out to Colin stop Osborne. him here and he takes the first leg. By pinning double four to hold his throw, Osborne leads 1-0. Second leg, it's Kevin to throw first. Game on. Sixty. This is the 95. third and final meeting between the pair. Osborne did beat Kevin Burness in their first meeting yesterday, 4-2. But lost by the same scoreline when Burness produced a stunning 106.83 average, the best of this group so far. 177. Fabulous visit from Osborne to pile the pressure on Burness's throw. 60. He lost to Aaron Monk earlier today, but then beat Martin Thomas to just keep a tight grip on top spot. 99. Came into today having lost just two of eight matches played yesterday. 137. Well, you're 130. Two from three so far today. Sixty-five. Kevin, you require one hundred and forty-five. But Osborne will have the opportunity here to keep himself in contention for top spot by winning this match, and he's got the opportunity to break. Kevin, you require sixty-five. Sixty-five needed to do so. Gets a twenty-five. Double top. Game shot. And he loves double leg. top. Sneaks it Colin in the top Osborne. corner. And Colin Osborne is two up on Kevin Benes with a break of throw to boot. Third leg, it's Colin to throw first. A middle of the man landing the target in the top corner like a Janino free kick. 
55. But Baness bites back. 180. With his fifth maximum of the day. We are at the halfway point of today's marathon session of matches. Game 11 of 22. Following this will be Martin Thomas against Fallon Sherrick before Richardson returns to meet Aaron Monk. 140. Kevin Baness threatening to produce a perfect leg, but he couldn't quite manage dart number six in the treble 20. 99. But this is a leg against a throw from Baness, a brilliant one to attempt the break back. 65. Is there a break back mounting? Well, he might now need to take out this 116. Despite the five perfect darts, and he can't do that. Colin Osborne with an opportunity 42. to lead the Iron Man. 3-0. Treble 18. And still. Oh, he went for the double and he's missed the board completely. But Colin Osborne had to ensure he hit the single 18 there for a dart at the bullseye. 54. That's what he wanted for double 16. Kevin, you but he should have played it safer than that. And now Baness needs double 8 to punish. Game shot and perfect. hits it. And Kevin Colin Burnett. will be kicking himself there missed out on giving himself the opportunity to throw a dart at least a bullseye and Baness made him pair to break Ball straight play, back Kevin to throw first game on sixty of course I understand that the likelihood of hitting double sixteen is far greater than hitting the bullseye but in that spot Colin Osborne could have 85. sort of played it half safe and then for the bottom wire of that double 18, knowing that if he goes inside it, he gets a dart at the ball. 180. So the Iron Man is starting to flex his muscles here. Colin Osborne could have been 3 0 up and could have left Benet with too much to do, but the Northern Irishman is now throwing to tie this match up at two apiece. And to take a giant step towards qualification for finals night by topping this group. 100. Kevin, you require 126. So 126. Was looking for the treble 19 for a dart at the bull. Unsure whether he would have attempted it anyway, being in such a good spot. In the leg. And Kevin Burness just questioning the score with our match official Owen Binks, but the referee was right. 95. Kevin, you require 41. So it's 41 for Burness. Double 16. Game he gets it. Play. And he ties Burnett. it up at two apiece. And I just do wonder if Osborne is still thinking about that mistake he made in the previous leg. Could have been three up, but now it's 2-2. Two, two. Fifth leg, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. 100. Forty-three. Eighty-five. One hundred and eighty. 
Furness is really taking this match to Colin Osborne now. That is his 66. third 180 of this Tungsten Tussle. One hundred. One hundred and eighty. Osborne's first could not have come at a better time. Weathering the storm. One hundred and thirty-eight. From Blizzard. Vanessa. Colin on the fifth keeps leg. calm and carries on Colin Osborne. and claims the leg to regain the lead in this match and to keep the advantage in it. Osborne, 3-2 up on the league leader, Kevin Burness. Sixth leg, it's Kevin to throw first. Game on. And if he manages to win one of the next two legs, Colin Osborne 60. will just halt the Iron Man in his charge towards the group A. Top spot. He will move to 12 points, the same as Fallon Sherrick and Aaron Monk. Sherrick will have the chance to move within two points when she takes on Martin Thomas in the next match. 100. And then we'll face Baness in game 14 today. So, not all over 140. yet. Not if Colin Osborne's got anything to do with it. Vanessa has been the best. She's Big been the mark. pace setter all throughout these two marathon days of darts. But it's not about how you start. It's all about how you finish. 57. And there may be a way for somebody to prize him off that first place in this group and earn themselves two days rest. You require 164. Osborne has earned himself two visits. To take out this one six four. Forty six. Only chipped forty six off it. One hundred and forty. So now needs. Well, then you require one hundred and eighteen. This one one eight to seal the deal. And he won't get it. Ninety four. Kevin, you require 46. Kevin Burness has been to two last leg deciders today. He's won one of them. Game show on the sixth leg. And he's forced another Kevin one here Burness. against Colin Osborne, who's had every opportunity to put himself in a very promising position in this match. He's still in a decent spot. He has the darts in the decider, but Seven Burness final leg, just Colin's refuses to be beaten. Game off. And that is not the start that the wizard would have wished for. 100. One hundred. So an important last start from Colin Osborne. I think he would have started to resign himself to losing the leg had he not found a treble in that turn. 100. Vanessa just keeping the advantage. 70 points better off from the first couple of exchanges in this crucial last leg. 96. And once again, a last start in the treble. Just keeps Osborne interested. 97. And a last start in the treble keeps Vanessa with that advantage. Needs a treble here, Colin Osborne, with this start. And he can't get it, so he can't now leave a finish. 60. And it is in the hands of the league leader now, Kevin Burness, closing in on what would be a, a very important win that would tighten his hold on that top spot. However, that last start has just provided Colin Osborne with an offering of optimism.
95 left for Osborne here. Treble 19, all the ball. All that. Fair enough. He Get might not have gone for the double 19, so no reason not to fire in that. So Kevin Burness then. Looking for the ball to win the match. And he can't find it. Well, that 180 from Colin Osborne. Colin, you require 35. He's given him two darts at double. To win this match. And just to keep hopes alive for him and the rest of the field. Of catching Kevin Burness at the top of the table. He thought that was in. He thought it was in. Tungsten Tension for the Online Darts Live League. But that is in. And match. Colin Osborne wins. Colin Osborne. And it could prove to be a very, very significant win when all is said and done in Group A. A 4-3 success for Colin Osborne. I assure you that the pair didn't average nothing. It was mid-90s for the pair of them. The checkout stats so are accurate. Osborne accurate with that crucial last start at double 16 to pull himself in contention for the top spot that Kevin Burness currently occupies. Welcome back to the action here at the Online Darts Live League, where a win for Colin Osborne in a dramatic last leg shootout with Kevin Burness has just kept things very, very tasty at the top of the table. Burness on 16 points, four clear of the field, but Aaron Monk and Fannin Sherrick have games in hand on 12. If Sherrick wins this one, she will move within two points of Burness with him still to play. Martin Thomas looking to join Sherrick. On 12 hey, points. Look, look, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. The race for top spot so important because the Ooh, he won. winner of this group advances straight through. One hundred. Eighty-four. Two finals nights. And Kevin Burness has seemed to be an unmovable object at the top of the group air table, but beaten twice now today by Colin Osborne and by Aaron 90. Monk, who he has to play again. Monk still in contention. Sherrick certainly in contention. Thomas hoping to get himself in contention. The only man 97. who cannot catch James Richardson. Or rather, sh I should say, James Richardson is the only man 60. who can't catch Kevin Burness at the top of the table. It seems that he's destined for Group C. 
And we'll be back 52. tomorrow morning. We'll keep you up to date with the state of play as the 84. action advances. We are past the halfway stage now. Game 12 of 22 here on day two in Group A. 58. Martin, you require 141. Sherrick started off superbly, winning her first two matches while Martin Thomas was losing 59. his first two. Fallon, you require 150. She was beaten 4-1 by James Richardson. The man at the bottom of the table in a last match, and she's struggling at the start in this one. 33. Have Fallon's fireworks require 82. fizzled out. 17 for Thomas. Tops for Thomas. Game the shot first the leg first goes the way of Martin, Martin Thomas. He holds his throw, and he leads 1-0 against Fallon Sherrick as he looks to move on the same points. As her in the league table. Second leg, it's Fallon to throw first. Game on. Well, that's better. That's much better. 140. She couldn't complete her eighth maximum of the day, but it's a strong start as she bids to hold to level up. And that's a perfect dart for her to follow up. 140. A brace of ton 40s to take the game to Thomas. 149. Fallon, you require 164. So both players on 164 after 9. Cherrick will not complete the combo. Can Thomas 44. take it out? Martin, you require 164. Well, there's the answer. 44. Fallon, you require 120. One hundred. Sherrick. Martin, you require one hundred. Missing the double top for the one twenty combination, and now Thomas takes aim at the same target, the second which leg. he hits. Martin to Thomas. break the throw and to take command of this clash. Thomas two up against Fallon Sherrick, who will need a fight back. She yeah, had one earlier Martin against Aaron Monk when she was three nil yeah. down. going to become very, very bunched up with four uh, players 82. tied on 12 points if Thomas wins two more legs in this match. But it will offer the initiative to Aaron Monk in the next one to be the key threat 58. to Kevin Burness if he can beat James Richardson. With Burness still to play, having beaten him already today. Uh, 85. As the action advances, I will... Try my best to keep you across the permutations. I can tell you that James Richardson cannot win the group, although most of us would have thought that before the day even started. 135. It's still possible for anything else to happen. 39. Well, that's okay, Fallon. 39 this time, 100 next time, then 170. 99. We'll have to rely on Martin Thomas not taking out 100, mind you. 60. Oh, she's not going to manage that. So 100. Thomas will have the chance to move three clear. And he has two clear at top. So he's Game missed one, but he leg. nails the second. Martin Thomas. And Martin's missiles are going well for him here. A 3-0 lead against Fallon Sherrick, who was flying at the start of the day, but seems to have come back well, down to Fallon earth with a bump. Game on. Richardson beating Sherrick 
4-1 half an hour ago. And now 100. Thomas helping himself to a, a three-leg lead. If Thomas does win this leg, I remind you our next match will start at 1pm. So there may be time for you to put the kettle on. Make yourself a sandwich. 99. To enjoy you with a side of darts when we return. With that meeting. 140. Between Monk and Richardson. And it's looking very likely that Thomas will get that win here. Because he's now fired in a 180. Followed by a 140. 50. He was beaten 4-1 by Fallon Sherrick in their first meeting yesterday, but then returned the favour with his best performance of the day. 34. A match in which he averaged more than 102. Well, the 180 to open the leg. 60. No nine data on offer for Martin Thomas, but he could complete a 147 break. Snookers himself behind the green. 63. Can Sherrick apply any kind of pressure? Can she put Martin Thomas under any kind 57. of darting duress? Martin, you require 84. Well, not enough would be my assessment. And the bullseye would be enough for Martin Thomas to win. 59. One Martin, last you chance 135. for Fallon Sherrick to stay in this match. 120 remaining, so she can't go out. She can leave double top. 55. Had she Martin found the treble. 25. But she's been in a whole world of trouble in this match. Thirteen. So it's a match she's not yet out of, Fallon but it would be a different kind 80. of comeback for Fallon Sherrick if she were to repeat the trick of winning from 3-0 down like she did against Aaron Monk earlier. 60. Because she was playing really well Martin, you require despite 12. being 3-0 down in that one. But she's not here. Game she can't take the first the step. And Martin, Martin Thomas, Thomas ensures there will be no Fallon fight back in this one. A 4-0 whitewash win for the Welshman who averaged more than 10 points better than Fallon Sherrick in that one. Hit 50% of his checkouts and that 120 checkout. The highlight for him, having seen Fallon miss double top for the same finish. So he moves on to 12 points with three other players. And it will be James Richardson against Aaron Monk in around six minutes time.
score to match 13 then of the 22 as Group A comes to a close here on Wednesday afternoon on Champions Week at the Online Darts Live League. And we have a meeting between Aaron Monk and James Richardson. Aaron Monk still in contention to take top spot. He will move within two points of the long-standing league leader Kevin Burness with a win here. The only outcome that is not possible is that James Richardson finishes top of the table. James to throw first. Game on. It's anybody else's. After this, everybody would have played 12 matches. With three still to go. 100. Would be hard work for anybody on 12 points to topple Benes at the top of the table. But Aaron Monk can put himself in pole position to be the main contender. And what a start from Monk in this match. Followed by Richardson's first maximum of the day. 96. In contrast, that opening 180 for Aaron Monk was his eighth of this wonderful Wednesday at the darts. 57. Do get in touch on social media. Let us know where you're watching from. The online darts live league, I'm sure, has worldwide appeal. 137. James, you're Tell us where you're watching at darts live league on Twitter. Get in touch with me as well at Chris Murphy 180. 99. Aaron, you require 88. Aaron Monk looking to break in leg one here. 28. James, you require 65. Well, more breakdown after James that flying start for Aaron Richardson. Monk and Richardson. Well, maybe he's going to make a march up the table. He can't get to the top. But he'll want to get as high as possible. He's just beaten Fallon Sherrick, and he's taken the first leg here. Second leg, it's Aaron to throw first. 180. 180 opener for the second successive leg for Aaron Monk. 58. Against the man who's produced the only nine darters, two of them. At the online darts live league. 55. We haven't had one yet in this phase. Phase three. Phase four, by the way, will get underway next Monday. Chris Mason back 45. in the hot seat. Because he's been keeping it warm. 99. One hundred and forty. Aaron, you require one hundred and sixty-seven. Two visits for Monk to mop this up. Ninety-five. The last start in two is that he doesn't entirely mess it up. Eighty-three. Aaron, you require seventy-two. Double top. Well, he got three visits in the end with Richardson only acquiring 83 points in his last visit, but he's acquired Aaron, you require rather more this time around. Game shot on the so an important leg. dart for Aaron, Aaron Monk there, landing that double top to level up here. He's still got designs on top spot in group A, and he's all square with Richardson after two. Third leg, it's James to throw first. Game on. 100. Well, that's unfortunate, deflecting the dart to divert it away from the treble. And Monk, for the first time, will not open with a 180 in this match. 46. We've had a change of referee. Charlie Corstafine now 55. calling the numbers and keeping an eye on the players. 59. 
140. Ninety-seven. One hundred and thirty-four. Ninety-eight. James, you require thirty-two. Thirty-two after a, a dozen darts left by Richardson. Just getting his grip right on that one. 24. As he looks to get a grip on this match, he'll come back with three in hand and eight points remaining. 55. James, you require eight. Four points remaining. And still. Four. And he's still not got rid of them. Aaron, you require 146. Can Aaron Monk? Get rid of 146 in one fell swoop. Oh, he can't swoop. Just taking a moment here, Monk, to calm himself down. 92. James, you require four. Double two. Becomes double one. Becomes must hit, and he has hit, James and he Richardson. hits the front again. Monk thought he might have been afforded another bite at the cherry, but Richardson snatches it away to lead 2-1. Fourth leg, it's Aaron throwing first. Ninety-nine. 140. 58. 92. 100. Ninety-nine. The ninety-nine leaves Richardson on the one seventy checkouts. Haven't seen that yet this week. One hundred. At the James online dark. One hundred and seventy. Live league. And we're not going to see it now either. Aaron Monk produced. 80. Aaron, you Highest check out of the day earlier on, 151. Can he add 144? No, he can't. So James Richardson will have the opportunity to pull two clear. 44. And to James move require closer. 90. Double 15. Shot on the fourth leg. And James, James Richardson, Richardson is closing in on a second win in succession here in Group A at the Online Darts Live League Champions Week. Fifth leg, it's James to throw first. Game on. And it would be a win for James Richardson that would haul him up onto eight points. Four points behind. 100. Four of the players, including Aaron Monk. And with a real opportunity to carry on the surge at the 60. end of the day. And perhaps even put himself in Group B rather than Group C. And there is a... Advantage that comes with that. 140. The better opportunity of qualifying for finals night. He can't do that from Group A anymore because Kevin Burness is too far in front. In winning this 100. match, he might well hand the Group A title to Kevin Burness because Aaron Monk was the best bet to 100. catch him. Burness in action. Next against Fallon Sherrick. And if Burness... Wins that match, he'll move six Nine. points clear. James, you require 161. With the chasing pack only able to get a maximum of six points, it would take a mathematical miracle from that stage. 47. To James stop him, and it would take a miracle 
for Monk to turn this around. I think he's as good as given up. Forty-two. Never give up. Never give in, Aaron. You never know what's going to happen. Fifty-eight. We're still slinging like it's 14. over. Six. And it still isn't. I'm just wondering if Aaron's attitude is actually distracting James Richardson a little bit. 43. What a wild James miss. Eight. Going for the 18s on the last eight. start. Shot. And Richardson and finally wrapped James it up. Richardson. It's a second 4-1 success on the spin for James Richardson. He defeated Fallon Sherrick by that same scoreline and he's Still at the bottom of the table, but he's increasing his points tally in this one. Richardson beats Aaron Monk 4-1, an average of just under 90, a high checkout of 90, and keeps himself in contention to not finish bottom of the table and perhaps even end up in Group B rather than Group C. Stay tuned to see how it all pans out.
Welcome back. It's match 14 of 22 here on the final day of Group A action at Champions Week at the Online Darts Live League. And it could be a match that sorts out who progresses from this group straight through to finals night. Kevin Burness has been a seemingly unmovable table topper. And if he wins this match, he will take a giant step to seeding that spot at finals night. However... If Fallon Sherrett can first beat Finesse. First it's Kevin to throw first. Game on. As she did yesterday, then everything will remain very much still to play for. Finesse has been the dominant force. One In group A. But as I said, Fallon Sherrett did manage to find a way to beat Finesse yesterday. 81. She lost out to him 4-3 in their first meeting. Beat him by the same scoreline in their second. Both matches going all seven legs and going to the player who Big had the TA. advantage of throwing first. And Vanessa is certainly making that advantage count early in this match. 65. Sherrick produced a stunning start to this day's action. 58. Coming back from 3-0 down against Aaron Monk and then beating Colin Osborne. But it's kind of all gone wrong since then for Sherrick. 98. Losing out to James Richardson and Martin Thomas. Winning only one leg across those two defeats. A missed start at double here for Benesh shouldn't matter. 82. Has even got the luxury Kevin of splitting should 80. he wish to. He does wish to, Game and that's why Benes off the mark and looking to bulldoze his way through this match and take a giant step towards qualifying for finals night. 1-0 to the Ironman. Second leg, it's Fallon to throw first. 82. Fallon is going to have to find the form that she had in the early part of the day. If she is going to find a way to unlock victory here against the brilliant Vaness. Who for the second successive leg opened with a maximum. Taking his tournament tally to 21 now. 50. Playing level with Colin Osborne. As the top maximum hitters in Group A. 140. It's 181.40 with his first six starts in each of the 93. first couple of legs in this one. One hundred. And he could go out in 11. 58. This time Can around, Sherrick sensibly 81. switching just in case he doesn't take this out. Decides against a dart at the bullseye, Baness. Fallon, you require one. Playing the percentage shot. Leaving a more favourable way to win a leg. 134. Kevin, you require 32. Game and he has the won the leg. leg. And this is Kevin a Burnett. quite magical start to this match. From Kevin Burness, 2 0 up against Fallon Sherrick, and halfway to a victory that would see him all but seal top spots in Group A. Third leg, it's Kevin to throw first. Game on. Sixty. One hundred and forty. Ninety-nine. Ninety-seven. Well, Sherrick has upped her game from the last couple of matches, but she needs to 61. up it even more to live with 
Kevin Burnett in this kind of form, threatening to produce his best performance of the week so far here. Averaging 100 around 105. 40. He had 106 in a victory yesterday against Colin Osborne. 60. Fallon, you require 124. It's Fallon Sherrick has made a bid to break here. 92. That last start gives her three at double 16 when she comes back. An off leg for Benes. 140. Can Fallon Sherrick require 32. Bag a break. Game shot on the third. Fallon mode. Sherrick does Fallon Sherrick. get herself into this match with a breaker throw against Kevin Benes here. Let's not write her off yet. We've seen what she's done before today from behind. Sherrick back in it. Fourth leg. It's Fallon to throw first. That was a 13 darter. From the Queen of the Palace, who will hope to return to Alexandra Palace by coming through the PDC Women's Series. 100. Those events due to get underway later this month 99. in Niedenhausen, Germany. The first four of 12 Women's Series events. Qualification for 81. the Grand Slam and World Championship up for grabs. It would be great to see the Queen return to the Palace. Well, she may yet return to the form that she produced earlier today. The 13 data in the last leg. And now Fallon Sherrick wants to go out require 88. in 11. Seventy-two. Well, another thirteen dart leg would do very nicely indeed. Sherrick soaring now. Sixty. Averaging just shy of a hundred. you require sixty. As she takes aim at double eight. Benes powerless to do anything, even if he does come back. Game shot on the fourth. But he play. won't come back Fallon because Sherrick. Fallon Sherrick. Has followed that 13 dart break with a 15 dart hold to tie up this tungsten tussle at two legs apiece. Fifth leg, it's Kevin to throw first. And that victory for Fallon Sherrick last night, or yesterday afternoon, should I say, against Kevin Burness, the penultimate match of the day, proved to be a very important one because it just kept people hoping that Burness could be dislodged. From the top 90. of the table. And Sherrick has been streaky today. Two brilliant performances followed by two below 96. par ones. But she's certainly striking while the iron is hot here against the Iron Man. It's her turn now to kick off a leg with a maximum followed by a 140. Just as Benes did twice earlier in the match. She's fired in. 100. 3-1-80s in this one. 140. 140. And now she's looking. Well, and you require 41. For a break of throw. Game oh, shot which she secures. Brilliant Sherrick. stuff from Fallon Sherrick to turn this one around that. Was an 11 dart leg to break Burness. Sherrick on top and now throwing what could prove to be a very pivotal win in Group A. Sixth leg, it's Fallon to throw first. Certainly found her form here. Kevin Burness smiling, One shaking his head. He can't live with this. Who could live with this? 60. 60. Got away with myself in the previous leg. That 180 was her third of the match. And her 180. Tenth of the day, taking her tournament tally to 20. 
Pines has just fired in his 22nd of the group. 60. To keep himself in contention. Eighty five. Still a strong favourite to win the group, Kevin Burness, but if Alan Sherrick can win this leg. One hundred and thirty five. She'll be just two points behind him in second spot. One hundred and forty. Fallon you require sixty six. Burness hasn't quite bagged that top spot yet. But if Fallon Sherrett can find the top spot, 46. And she could take it off him. He thought he was a goner there. Kevin, you require 36. But double 18 would force a decider. And that play. is a break Kevin of throw Burnett. for Kevin Burness. How significant is that leg? The pair will fight it out in a very, very important leg now in the context of Group A. Seventh and final leg. It's Kevin to throw first. Game on. Vanessa has the advantage of throwing first, and he's straight in the red bit. One hundred and And again, the context is that if Kevin Vanessa wins this leg, he moves six points clear of Fallon Sherrick and Colin Osborne, Martin Thomas, and Aaron Monk. However, if Sherrick wins, she keeps Vanessa within touching distance by moving within two points of the Iron Man herself and keeping the hopes alive for the likes of Osborne, Monk and Thomas to catch him. Catch me if you can, says Kevin Burness. And Fallon Sherrick looks 59. like she might be about to blow this group A title race wide open. 95. But Burness has seemed to be an unmovable object at the summit of this group. 100. And if he can go out you require in six starts from here, he will not be moved. Treble 18. 68, left 68 remaining for Kevin Burness. 138. And he's left himself perfectly placed to... Tighten his grip on top spot. A parting shot from Fallon Sherrick. 140. Kevin, you require eight. But Kevin Burness needs double four. Game oh. shot. And beds and it. Kevin Burness. To take a quite brilliant game of darts. Sherrick threatened to dislodge Burness from the top of the table. The pair of them both averaging more than 101. The best battle we've seen at the Online Darts Live League this week, but it's a battle that has been won by Baness, who is all but safe now for that first place and a spot at finals night on Saturday.
match 15 of 22 coming up then here at the Online Darts Live League Champions Week, where Kevin Burness has all but sealed top spot. He would take a, a mathematical miracle now to dislodge Iron Man, but Colin Osborne, the man in second place, is one who could do it. Would need to win all three of his remaining games and overturn a nine leg legs difference. And, of course, hope that Kevin Benest does not pick up any more points in his remaining two matches. First leg, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. As for James Richardson, well, he can still lift himself off the bottom of the table and perhaps even put himself into Group B rather than Group C, having won his last two games against Aaron Monk 60. and Fallon Cherrick. Cherrick who just went down to Benest 4-3 in the best match we've seen so far. Both players 100. averaging more than 101 in that one. But here it's Osborne v. Richardson. And Osborne has a chance to keep alive his faint hopes of topping the table and a 20-second maximum of the tournament for him. Begins that bid. 135. In contrast, that would have only been a second maximum for James Richardson, believe it or not. Over the last 95. two days, there's been a real marathon of darts. But Kevin Burness, the pace setter, 87. has maintained the lead in the league table. One hundred and thirty four. One hundred. Colin Alan you Sherrick cannot 32. catch him. Of course, James Richardson has been unable Game to catch him for some time. Colin but there is an outside chance that Colin Osborne still can. And he's claimed the first leg of this match. The Wizards one up against Ruthless Richardson. Second leg. It's James to throw first. Game on. Hold of throw for Colin Osborne. 41. Achieved in 13 darts. 140. 59. 44. So just to confirm the state of play and let you know what's coming up for the rest of the week here at the Online Darts Live League, Kevin Burness top of the table and can secure his spot if he wins his next match when he takes on James Richardson in a couple of games time. Colin Osborne behind him in second place on the same points as Aaron Monk and Fallon Sherrick. Sherrick has played one game more, so cannot 100. catch Kevin Burness with just two games left to play. And James Richardson, bottom of the league on eight points, four adrift of the field. 100. Richardson and the player in fifth place will join Group C. That gets underway tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. here on the Online Darts Live League YouTube channel. 139. Colin, you're With Jamie 77. Kelly, Jim Williams, Taz Barstow and the defending champion Richie Burnett joining the action. Game As shot Colin Osborne Colin breaks Osborne. the throw with a very nice 77 checkout to double his lead in this match. 2-0 to the Wizard. Third leg. It's Colin to throw first. Game on. So to return to the point, that will be the makeup of Group C. Kelly, Williams, Barstow, Burnett and the fifth and sixth 60. place players from Group A. They will battle it out over two days of action from 9.30am on Thursday and Friday. 22. And defeat here from James Richardson would effectively condemn him to playing in that group, which is a little bit more 
disadvantaged because there are six oh, players in it and only two night. of them will progress to finals night to join the winner of this group, which seems like it'll be Kevin Burness. And then the second, third and fourth place players will join Mark Webster and Wayne Warren in Group B. 10 o'clock, Thursday and Friday evening, live on Sporty Stuff TV and here on the Online Darts YouTube channel with three players progressing from those five to make up the six on finals night on Saturday. Same place, same time. And the winner will receive a cool £6,000. Hope that all made sense. I will remind you again as the week 64. progresses. Colin, you require 180. Colin Osborne making excellent progress in this match. A pair of them exchanging 180s in this leg. Richardson in with a shout of a break back, however. James, you require 98. Well, 93 now. 74 remaining, but he can't 42. go out in this visit. Colin, you require 40. So Osborne well on top in this match. James and on top, he extends that lead to three legs. Colin Osborne racing away from Richardson, whose mini revival may be coming to an emphatic end. Fourth leg, it's James to throw first. Game on. James Richardson came in too today, 83. having won just two matches yesterday, beating Aaron Monk and Fallon Sherrick. Was then beaten by Kevin Burness and Martin Thomas. 92. Before seeing off Sherrick and Monk again. The only two players he's beaten. 42. Double his points tally at the bottom of the league. Sixty. Colin Osborne looking to beat Richardson for the third time in a couple of days. One hundred. Having seen him off four one in both of their previous 45. meetings in this group. Could go one better here. Ninety-three. One hundred and forty. Sixty. Colin, you require one hundred and sixty-four. Well, Colin Osborne will go one better if he can complete a huge checkout. That's not going to happen, but Richardson in need of this one, two, three. One hundred. The shot we've seen James Colin Osborne himself produce today. And 54 for the bull. Now the bull. 98. No bull. For Colin, James Richardson. 64. And Osborne can wrap up what would be just the second whitewash win of the day's darts. Martin Thomas inflicting the first on Fallon Sherrick. 4-0. James, you require May not 25. be the score. Because Richardson has two darts. At double 12. One. Well, he hasn't hit. Colin, you require 20. Double 10 for Colin Osborne to seal the whitewash win. No score. Well, they've gone begging as well. James, you've required the wizard 24. can't quite believe that he's managed James to make that leg player. disappear. James Richardson, Richardson, very, very pleased to have not been subject to a wizard whitewash. Is there a comeback on the cards, perhaps? Richardson gets a leg on the board. Fifth leg, it's Collins to throw first. Game on. 
So Fallon Sherrick produced that amazing comeback from 3 0 down against Aaron Monk. That's 137. Just the 16th time in online darts live league history that one player has won. From 3 0 down. 180. That in more than 1,800 matches. Colin Osborne is a man himself who's done 140. it. 140. Did it in phase two against both Martin Adams and Conan Whitehead. James Richardson has not achieved that feat, but his son was on the wrong end of it against Ben Hazel. 144. What a leg this is. What a way to wrap up the match this would be from Colin Osborne. 100. 137. 180. 144. Game. And then shot. double top and the match. to Colin wrap Osborne. up a 4-1 win. With a brilliant 11 dart leg. Fantastic stuff from Colin Osborne, who averages just over 98, hit three 180s, including that one in the 11 darta to win it. He keeps himself in contention to dislodge Kevin Burness from the top of the table, but it's still relying on a bit of a mathematical miracle. James Richardson is all but condemned to playing in Group C tomorrow morning. We'll be back in a few moments' time with Aaron Monk. Meeting Martin Thomas.
Welcome back. Seven games remaining now then in Group A on Champions Week at the Online Darts Live League. And it's Aaron Monk against Martin Thomas to begin the run to the home straight. Both players still have faint hopes of catching Kevin Burness at the top of the table, but it would take a, a mathematical miracle. Yes, it's Aaron to throw first. Game on. Whoever wins this match will keep that flame burning. But Burness can blow it out if he beats James Richardson in the game that follows. Whoever loses, well, it'll be about trying to make sure they end up in Group B rather than Group C because of the advantage that comes with that. Five participants 25. in Group B on Thursday and Friday evening. Three of them going through to finals night. Two from six going through from Group C, which takes place on Thursday and Friday morning. 99. Looking very likely that James Richardson will be in the latter. Having just been beaten 4-1 by Colin Osborne, the other player who has faint hopes of catching Kevin Burness, but he's been a bit of a unmovable object at the top of the table. 60. A 180 from Thomas, a sixth of the day's play for him. 100. Colin Osborne was beaten by Martin Thomas with an average of 103.23 yesterday. That's the fourth highest losing average ever in the online darts live league. In the top five highest losing averages, all by players in action in this group. Richardson has two of them. Osborne, the one I mentioned. Vaness has the second, and Aaron Monk himself has the third. 41. Martin, you require 56. Kind of lost his rag a little bit in defeat to James Richardson last time out. Aaron Monk. Can he keep calm in this one? 16. Well, Martin's miss. Aaron, you require 121. May I help him. And if he can help himself to a 1-2-1 one, one checkout. And maybe the anger will subside for Aaron. But he can't. 97. Does leave it handy just in case Martin, Thomas you require 40. fails to take out tops. Well, that's a long way off. Double 10. 20. Yeah, never looks settled in that visit, Aaron, Martin Thomas. 24. And this would be a settler for Aaron Monk. Double 12. To hold on to his throw, double six now. 18. And Monk misses. Martin, you require 20. More misses. 15. Oh. Aaron, you require six. Well, a sloppy start to this match from the pair of them. Game shot on the and Aaron first Monk though. eventually Aaron eventually Monk. holds his throw in 24 darts. A nervy start to this encounter. Things can only get better. Aaron Monk leads 1 0. Second leg, it's Martin to throw first. 12 darts that double miss between them in the opening leg, and then Martin Thomas steps up and sticks all three in a treble. Funny old game, isn't it? His second of the match. 96. One hundred and twenty-three. And he finds three trebles with his second visit, but unfortunately, one of them in the treble one, denying us the opportunity to see 62. a nine dart attempt. The best we've seen this week is Kevin Maness going six darts in to the perfect leg. Sixty. Fifty-eight. Martin, you require one hundred and thirty-eight. Ninety-nine. 
98. Well, Thomas tees up tops and looks set to level up, but he did miss seven darts at double in the opening leg. 60. So it won't be... Martin, you require 40. Counting his chickens here. Aim shot on the second leg. To get that Martin Thomas. straight in. Thomas puts the disastrous doubling behind him and ties up this match with Aaron Monk at one leg apiece. Third leg, it's Aaron to throw first. One hundred and thirty four. One hundred and thirty five. Sixty. Pair played in the very first match 83. of today's action. And it was won by Aaron Monk. 4-2, taking revenge for the 4-3 defeat at the hands of the Welshman yesterday. 59. Whoever wins this mini-series, as I say, will put themselves in a strong position to move to Group B. But will still have a very, very faint chance of topping the table. That would mean Kevin Burness losing against both James Richardson and Monk 58. himself. Well, that player would win all of their remaining matches and overturn a huge 58 leg difference deficit. 58. In truth, Vaness is as good as in finals night. Martin, you require 125. 85. Aaron, you require 132. Bullseye for some showmanship. But couldn't even find the 25 there, Aaron Monk. Fifty-five. Well, all over the place. Martin, you require in that 40. visit. Bit of a spray and pray. Game shot on the third leg. Martin, and Martin Thomas. Thomas takes full advantage by breaking Monk's throw to take a two-one lead and to move two away from the win. Fourth leg. It's Martin to throw first. Game on. Charlie Corsafine gets the fourth leg underway. 85. Martin Thomas very much with the advantage in the early exchanges in this match. Having secured that break of throw. 100. Well, the former World Youth Champion Aaron Monk looks like he'd rather be any bit anywhere else but here right now. 100. 100. A drop dart. A dropped head. But if he can't get himself at least one more win on the board, he might find himself back here tomorrow morning. 140. 140. A change of tact 81. from Monk. Couldn't get his range on the treble 20, so trying to find it on the treble 19. Martin Thomas will just carry on. 125. Plodding along. 100. Martin, you require 51. Is there for him to take. Double top. To pull two clear. Game shot on the Thomas leg. hits Martin the Thomas. double top. And does move two clear. And is now one away from a win. That would keep alive his faint chances of finishing top of the table. Fifth leg, it's Aaron throwing first. And Kevin Burness on 18 points at the top. Colin Osborne on 14 with two to play. Can catch him in terms of points, but would need to 
enjoy a six leg swing. 180. Martin Thomas would join Osborne 57. on 14 if he were to win this match. If you're to win it in this leg, then he would need an 11 leg swing. 95. Aaron Monk would then be ruled out officially of topping the table and would stay on 12 points alongside Fallon Sherrod and be in a battle really to secure a spot in Group B. Sixty-one. Eighty-five. Monk seemed to start the day well, averaging in the high 90s in the win against Thomas in match one. 133. And again in defeat to Fallon Sherrick, who averaged 104 against him in his second game before he beat Kevin Benest, the league leader, but it's all kind of fallen apart for Monk since then. Defeat to Colin Osborne, 32. James Richardson, game and now shot. Martin and Thomas, Martin who Thomas. seals a 4-1 success against Aaron Monk with an emphatic display, a 97 and a half average for Thomas, some 25 points better off in that department than Aaron Monk. Thomas, good value for the win, and he moves into third place in the league table, and he's looking good for a spot in Group B, and still has an outside chance of winning the league. But if Kevin Burness wins his next match, coming up against James Richardson, then he will secure a top spot and a place at finals night.
Welcome back as the action nears its conclusion here at the Online Darts Live League. And the winner of the group could be decided as Kevin Vaness needs a victory against James Richardson to secure first place in Group A and with it a place at finals night. Vaness 10 points better off than Richardson in the table. It's top against bottom. If Vanessa wins, he's through to finals night. First leg, it's James to throw first. Game on. If Richardson wins, well, it's time to count fingers, toes, abacus, beads, and anything else that we can think of to 100. work out the permutations. It will be simple. For Kevin Vaness, it will mean that he is in the finals night group and can put his feet up for a couple of days if he wins this match. Richardson with defeat will definitely compete in Group C tomorrow morning. 60. This is the first of six remaining matches. Every player to appear twice more. As two marathon days of darts come to an end. Will it end with the Iron Man showing his steel to finish top of the table, just as he did in 43. Week 3. He went on to win the winner's group as well. 97. It could be another yes from Baness. One hundred and thirty four. James Richardson has been surprisingly. 41. Below par. Going to require 164. There's a few flashes of decent stuff, but he's not going to produce one of them in this visit. 61. They've been few and far between for Richardson, who's only beaten Aaron Monk and Fallon Sherrick in this event. Seeing off each of them twice. 58. James been beaten at least once by every player in the field. Seventy-nine. Kevin, you require one hundred and thirty-nine. One three nine, the target for Vaness. Not one that he can manage. Eighty-nine. James, you require twenty-four. So two twelves. Game shot on the first leg. Seal James the first Richardson. leg for James Richardson. Can the man at the bottom of the table topple the man at the top? Well, he's taken the first leg and needs three more to do so. Second leg, it's Kevin to throw first. Game on. 60. Eighty five. Do get in touch on social media. Let us know what your highlights of Group A have been. Vanessa has been the brilliant, consistent, 99. dominant force over the last couple of days but what highlights have you enjoyed i'm sure many will mention that comeback win for fallon sherrick against aaron monk earlier on a fabulous match between Vanessa and sherrick just over half an hour ago as well certainly up there for me plenty of those that's Vanessa's 11th of the day taking his tournament tally to 23 topping that department 100. now as well And that is superb setting up from the Iron Man. But yeah, at Darts Live League on Twitter to let us know your highlights from Group A and what you expect for the rest of the week. Kevin, you require 32. Vanessa looks to level Game after a brilliant spell. Line. Really Vanessa. strong stuff from the Iron Man who levels up this match against James Richardson at one apiece and now needs three legs to seal the Group A title. Third leg, it's James to throw first. Game on. 41. The action will continue on 41. Thursday and Friday. Rather than one long session, we'll have two double sessions. 100. Group C getting underway tomorrow morning at 9.30 with Jamie Kelling, Jim Williams, Chaz Barstow and the defending champion Richie Burnett joining 95. the action. 
9.30 a.m. here on the Online Darts YouTube channel. And 60. at 10 p.m. on Thursday and Friday evening, you will see the Welsh World Championship winning duo 57. Wayne Warren and Mark Webster in action in Group B. 10 o'clock in the evening, live 100. here on the Online Darts YouTube channel and live free to air on Sporty Stuff TV. 138. You do want to watch Sporty Stuff TV. Danger it's on require 170. Freeview HD channel 64. Sky channel 142 and 553 on Virgin. 140. James, you require 30. Double James 15. The third James Richardson, James Richardson gets Richardson. him back in front in this match. Benes pegged back. Will he be prevented from progressing to finals night at the end of this match? Richardson, 2 1 up. Leg. It's Kevin to throw first. One hundred. Thanks to Jeremy tweeting in to say there are too many highlights to name. Just one. And I think I agree with that, Jeremy. At 60. Darts Live League. To let us know your highlights, you can get in touch with me at Chris Murphy 180 on Twitter as well. One hundred. For me, that comeback win for Fallon Sherrick is right up there. Would certainly make a highlight reel. 44. Kevin Vanessa's performance against Sherrick in what was an important match for him. 81. Both players averaged over 101. 55. 100. Richardson has put himself in a good position here. 100. Could this James should require 120. Slip away from Baness. Possible. Still possible. 30. Oh, that's a bit of a poor visit from Richardson. Kevin Baness at his mercy. 177. Fluffed his line somewhat, James and now Vaness has been 90. able to tee up a double. Richardson needs double 15 again, James and he hits it again. James and now Richardson. James Richardson showing his ruthless streak. 3-1 up on the league leader, and the strangest thing could be happening. Could we see a capitulation from the Iron Man? He needs three Big legs play. on the it's spin. To throw first. Game on. If he's going to seal top spot at the end of this match. 140. Martin Thomas and Colin Osborne, the two remaining men that can catch him, are going heads head next. 60. Things are about to get very interesting indeed. Vanessa's final match will be against 60. Aaron Monk. Osborne has to face Fallon Sherrick and Thomas 45. will meet Richardson. With Sherrick and Monk still to do battle as well. That's coming up in a couple of games' time. 85. 59. 100. Fifty-nine. James should require one hundred and sixteen to win. The unlikeliest win. The man at the bottom of the table. 
70. Attempting to see off the man at the top. 92. The man who, James had he Rick won this match, 46. would have won the league, would have sealed the spot at Game finals shot. night. And the match. But Kevin Vaness has wet to book his place on Saturday at finals night goes on. And there is a little bit of optimism afforded to Colin Osborne and Martin Thomas who go head to head next because the man at the bottom of the table, James Richardson, has averaged just shy of 90 has taken out 90 and has taken a 4-1 win against Kevin Burness. He can still be caught by one of Osborne or Thomas. They will battle it out next.
Well, things might have just taken an interesting turn here on Champions Week at the Online Darts Live League as Kevin Burness was beaten, the man who had the league title in Group A at his mercy was toppled by bottom of the table James Richardson and that means that whoever wins this match between Colin Osborne and Martin Thomas will still be in contention to take first place and the reward of an automatic spot at finals night. First leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. Vanessa on 18 points. The winner of this will move on to 16 with Vanessa and them still having one game to play. 80. Colin Osborne only needs a three-leg swing. Him to win and 85. Vanessa to lose. That's quite likely. Thomas would need an eight-leg swing if he were to be the man winning this match. That's as it stands now, 62. of course. So depending on the margin of victory here. But it is getting a little bit interesting. 45. 190. Martin Thomas, who takes the early initiative with a 180, his ninth of the day. Two more today than Colin Osborne, but nobody has hit more 43. in total than Osborne. He's up to 24, one ahead of Kevin Burness, the league leader. 100. Martin, you require 136. 96. Colin, you require 131. Thomas tees up tops. And Osborne can't complete 91. the 1 3 1 Martin combination. So 40. a chance then for Thomas to take the first leg. Game shot on the first Which leg. he does. Martin Thomas. On double 10. And the first step in staying in contention. Because Thomas is where he's one up against Colin Osborne. Second leg, it's Colin to throw first. If you haven't been watching all week, 180. Kevin Benes has been top of the pile for what seems like eternity here. And he looks like he'll still end up 35. securing that first place. But the defeat to James Richardson in the last match has just open the door for that top spot to change hands and one of this pair could take it one and Colin Osborne could take out a nine dart leg it would be just the third perfect leg Colin, you require at the online darts live league and it's on for Osborne it's off 82. Well, Colin carved out the opportunity. The brace of 180s. Congratulated for his efforts by Thomas. 100. He fires in a second max Colin, of the match. 59. Of his own. Nineteen. And he could yet. You require 146. Pick the pockets of Colin Osborne here. Well, he's not going to do it in this visit. 59. Colin, you require 40. Game shot on the second leg. So Osborne, Colin Osborne restores parity by planting a dart in his favourite double. And the race for second place is on. 1-1. One, one. Third leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. And we do still wonder if it will end up being more than a race for second place, of course. 140. 45. 
Kevin Burness against Aaron Monk will be the penultimate match of the day's darts. Monk in action next against Fallon Sherrick. They're battling it out to secure a spot in Group B. 140. And Thomas will return for his final match of the group against James Richardson. 83. Osborne ends his day in the last match against Fallon Sherrick. Will he still have something to play for by then? 140. One hundred. One hundred. Martin, you require one hundred and twenty. Can't find a route to the treble, so Osborne 45. might be about to break. Colin, you require seventy-six. Can Colin? Clinch control of this contest. Double top says he can. 56. But he can't. Martin, you require 75. Thomas off the hook. Can he hook the check out? Same target. 35. And he can't find it either. Colin, you so 20. a real opportunity now for Osborne. Game shot who nails double ten Colin Osborne. to break the throw and take the lead in this match. And Colin Osborne still has hopes of finishing top of the group. Fourth leg, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. He can eliminate Martin Thomas from that race if he wins two more legs in this match. And then we'll have to hope. 140. That Kevin Burness is beaten by Aaron Monk before he faces Fallon Sherrick in the curtain closer. 121. 180. Brilliant stuff from Osborne taking his match tally to three. 134. His dare tally to 10 and his tournament tally to 27. 180s. Double 13. Look at this. Oh wow. What a setup shot that is. You will not see better than that. I'm talking about the 180s from Colin Osborne but that is even better. A 149 setup shot Colin, to tee up double 32. 16. But well, it won't be a 10 data or an 11. Game shot on the fourth. But Osborne, Colin Osborne is out in a dozen darts and out in front in this match and in front in the race to displace Kevin Burness from the top of the table. Fifth leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. An absolutely superb setup shot that 149. From Colin Osborne. I think that's my favourite shot, you know, in professional 40. darts. The treble 20, bullseye, treble 13 to leave 32. Should we do that? What's your favourite shot? 45. Doesn't have to be a checkout. Can be a setup shot. Could be a big score. It can be a checkout, but I think that 149 is the one for me. At Darts Live League. To let us know, or let me know directly at Chris Murphy 180. The best shot on the darts board. I'm putting that 149 at the very 85. top of the list. That Colin Osborne executed in the previous leg. It would have been even better had he gone out in 10 darts, having threatened to go out in 9 earlier in the match. 85. <laughs> well, a turn of pace from Thomas there. Didn't quite make it 140. into Team GB for the Olympics last week. But a decent audition with that little sprint. And you'll need a little sprint at the end of this match.
100. If he is to turn things around. Martin requires 75. 72 now. Double six. 63. But can the Martin wizard require 131. seal a magical win in style? Forty-three. Could not conjure Watson, up. Watson, you require twelve. The one-three-one checkout. Double three for Martin Thomas, and now he cannot go out. No score. And his chances. Colin, you require of producing a surge to the top of the table may be ended here by Osborne, Game who might shot. well do it himself. A four-one win for Colin Osborne to keep himself in contention to win Group A. And a fabulous performance it was from the Wizard as well. 101.3 the average, 4 out of 9 on the doubles. And that 88 checkout to seal the victory. A victory that keeps him hoping that he can top the group. He has to rely on Kevin Burness losing, but stranger things have happened. We've got four more matches coming up. Fallon Cherrick against Aaron Monk next on the agenda.
Welcome back for the first of four remaining matches here at the Online Darts Live League. And we have a meeting between Fallon Sherrick and Aaron Monk. And that was a match that provided darting drama earlier today when Aaron Monk led the game 3-0 only for Sherrick to win four on the spin. To win that match, Sherrick and Monk out of contention in terms of topping the table only kevin Burness or colin osborne can do that now but it is very important to finish in the top four because whoever finishes in those top four places second first, third and fourth will make Game it on. through to group b which carries the advantage of having three players from five progress in contrast to group c in which two six will progress group c and b both get underway tomorrow. So an important match. Even though 81. neither player has designs on winning Group A anymore. Colin Osborne's 4-1 win over Martin Thomas has kept him in contention. 100. James Richardson could yet haul himself off the bottom of the table and he could still finish in Group B. 101. In fact, my maths have just deserted me there because obviously Richardson only has one game left to play now. 62. So I could only get 12 points and one of these will end on 14. 59. So Richardson, it is confirmed, will be in 140. Group C tomorrow at 9.30. Well, look at this from Fallon Sherrick, 162. Followed James by a 140 checkout. Wow. Fallon what Sherrick. a start from Fallon Sherrick. Producing 302 in six starts. Capped off with a 140 checkout. Utilising the treble 18 so five times the on the spin to seal a 12 dart leg and to take the first leg against Ooh, Aaron Monk. Absolutely spellbinding stuff from Sherrick. We were talking about favourite shots, and I think in terms of a six-start passage, that is absolutely up there. 41. Thanks for those who have tweeted in, letting me know your thoughts on the Online Darts Live League this week. 96. Stewart says that the highlight for him has been how Colin Osborne has played, considering he was a late call-up. Yeah, very, very true. Colin Osborne replacing Conan Whitehead, who unfortunately has to miss out due to self-isolation obligations for no fault of his own Conan Whitehead. And Colin Osborne has certainly taken not. the opportunity with both hands after a late call-up, and he's still in contention to top the group. Kevin Burness and Colin Osborne will take on Aaron 84. Monk and Fallon Sherrick, respectively, in the next couple of games. Martin Thomas and James Richardson. Well, it appears 92. to be a little bit of a dead rubber, but if Richardson wins, then it could open the door for the losing player in this to overtake Thomas and 90. condemn him to playing in Group C. So still something on the line in every match for now. 138. Aaron Sherrick can't 100. find the treble 18 this time, but she does find herself in a good place in this leg. Monk. 47. Fallon, you require 72. Take 47 points off. Game and shot Sherrick the second leg. Takes out Fallon 72 Sherrick. to break the Aaron Monk throw. She's on top in this one. She was 3 0 down when they met earlier. And won that 4-3, but she's 2-0 up this time around. Third leg, it's Fallon to throw first. Game on. Aaron Monk has gone missing for the last hour or so. Lo lost 4-1 to James Richardson and then 4-1 to Martin Thomas after beating Colin Osborne 4-3. He's not happy with how things are going. A win for Fallon Sherrick here would all but secure her spots 
in Group B. 140. Meaning she would take part in the evening's action alongside Mark Webster and Wayne Warren, plus 58. another two players from this group. And she's well on her way to earning that win. 140. Just went missing in the middle of the day, Fallon Sherrick. Started 59. in sensational style. And has picked it up again in the last couple of matches. Despite defeats, Kevin Banesh, she averaged more than 101. And she's in three figures again 43. here. Or was before that visit. One hundred and thirty seven. Fallon, you recall one hundred and eighteen. So one one eight. Can't be taken out now. Forty two. Aaron, you require one hundred and fifty one. Sherrick has left herself well placed. If Monk cannot complete the one five one, he took out this finish. His very first leg of the day, a 4 2 win against Martin Thomas. And Fallon Sherrick will look at double top again. She hasn't missed a dart at double 56. in this match until now. Aaron, you're requiring 54. This is for a break of throw for Monk. Well, he can't believe it. Still has a chance. Three for tops. And he finds tops, way. as he so Aaron often Monk. does, and finds a way back into this match. A missed start, a double, the first from Fallon Sherrick, punished by Aaron Monk, who breaks back and trails 2-1. Fourth leg, it's Aaron to throw first. Fifty-seven. And Monk will still have a big say in the destiny of the Group A title. 100. He faces Kevin Benes, the man who has been on top for so, so long. But a defeat, a shock defeat at the hands of bottom place. 29. James Richardson has left things open. And Colin Osborne could be the beneficiary. 58. Fifty-nine. Vanessa facing Aaron Monk in the games, the map, the day's penultimate game, should I say, and then Colin Osborne facing Fallon Sherrick. If Monk can do the job against Vanessa, Osborne will 100. simply need to beat Sherrick to top the group. Between now and then, James Richardson and Martin Thomas will duel. Forty-five. Sixty-two. And consistently berating himself for the last couple of hours. Aaron Monk. It's angry Aaron, Mad Monk, and he's losing the battle to a serene Sherrick. 78, Fallon, you require 48. 48. Who Game takes out tops the for the 48 Fallen combination Sherrick. to break straight back and restore that two-leg lead. Sherrick now one away from a second win of the day against Aaron Monk. Fifth leg, it's Fallon to throw first. Game on. Eighty-one. It's 
So a win for Sherrick would move her on to 14 points, tied with Martin Thomas, who's coming up next against James Richardson. Should be enough to see her move into Group B, but not certain with Monk still to play again. 180. But she's doing her cause no harm at all. As she fires 59. in the first maximum of this match, her 11th of the day. 21 for the event. 140. Well, she took out 140 earlier on after a brilliant, brilliant 162 setup 100. shot. 100. Three treble eight teams. Now it's 140 to tee up a ton. Which she can take out on double 10. 80. Sixty. Fallon, you require twenty. And now double five. Fifteen. Aaron, you require one hundred and forty-two. Well, Sherrick just giving her head a shake there, knowing she's coming back for five in bits. One hundred. And under Fallon, pressure. You require five. From Aaron Monk. But double two will seal the deal. Game shot of the match. Does seal Alan a Sherrick. second win of the day against Aaron Monk to put herself all but in Group B. A dominant display from Sherrick and that brilliant 140 check out the highlight as she took out 302 in six starts, three treble eight teams, then two more for double 16, an absolutely spellbinding bit of dart from Fallon Sherrick, and it all adds up to a 4-1 win against Aaron Monk. Three matches left to go, James Richardson against Martin Thomas, the first of them coming next.
Welcome back to the action here at the online Darts Live League. It is Champions Week and Group A is nearing its conclusion. Every player in action once more, starting with this matchup between James Richardson and Martin Thomas. The title race is between Kevin Benes and Colin Osborne. They will be in action in the two matches that follow. Benes taking on Aaron Monk. Osborne taking on Fallon Sherrick. Okay, first leg, it's James to throw first. If Benes wins, Game on. he's through to finals night. If he loses and Osborne wins, then the wizard goes through here. Well, James Richardson attempting to take himself off the bottom 100. of the table, although he cannot put himself into Group B. Martin Thomas, if he loses, could still end up in Group C, but a win would secure 98. his spot in Group B tomorrow evening. And if you are wondering what the difference is, well, 60. you've got a better chance of qualifying for finals night from Group B than you have from Group C because three players from five progress Aye, from Group B, five. while two from six make it to finals night from Group C. Mark Webster and Wayne Warren will join the second, third and fourth place players at the end of Group A. And that will get going at 10pm tomorrow evening. Well, Group C will start at 9.30am tomorrow with Jamie Kelling, Jim Williams, Aye, Charles three. Barstow and the defending Online Darts Live League champion Richie Burnett in action alongside James Richardson and whoever else finishes. 80. Fifth or maybe James even sixth in our Monk's case. Richardson can still catch Monk if he wins this and Monk loses his next match. 64. Then he will pull himself off the bottom of the table. That will be a boost for him going into the rest of the week. And Thomas can't take out the 98. And Richardson has been on a bit of a run towards 32. the end of the day. Beating Aaron Change Monk. 69. Seeing off Kevin Burness. Defeating Fallon Sherrick as well. Game shot on the first leg. And that. James Richardson. It's an excellent start for Ruthless Richardson. A very clean kill of that combination. He lands double 12 to take the lead in this match. 1-0 to Ruthless Richardson. Second leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. One hundred and thirty-five. Martin won the match between the pair earlier today. I'm not sure what's happened here. Lost a flight there. Couldn't find it. He found it in the end, Martin Thomas. Sixty. One hundred. Eighty-one. Twenty-four. This kind of the precursor to the big title race matches coming next. But as I was saying, still an opportunity for Richardson to avoid finishing bottom of the table. 100. And still a chance that Martin Thomas could be dragged into Group C. 81. James, you require 120. 120 then for Richardson to double his lead. Doesn't get a dart at double 60. to do so. Martin, you require one treble will earn one for Thomas. Not now. Seventy-seven. James, you require sixty. Two twenties. 
40. It's always going to be difficult to navigate a dart 40. standing up like that, blocking the path. Double 10 for Thomas now. Still double 10. 20. No double 10. James, you require 20. The same target. The same outcome so far. And now double five. 10. Wobbly stuff Martin, from the pair of them. 20. Tungsten tension. Can Martin Thomas find the cure? 15. James, you require 10. He couldn't. James but Richardson the can. And James that choice Richardson. Has hit three for double one, paired off. And Richardson breaks the throw and opens up a two leg lead. Third leg, it's James to throw first. Game on. Last appearance from the pair of them, but they will be 58. back tomorrow and Friday here at Champions Week. Richardson will be in action tomorrow morning, 9.30. 85. Alongside Kelling, Williams, Barstow, Burnett and one other from this group. Could be Martin 100. Thomas, but he could even be in action tomorrow evening, 10 o'clock. 180. Forty-three. Twelve one-eighties today now for Martin Thomas. Good going. Taking his tournament tally to twenty-two. Colin Osborne, the leader in that department, he has twenty-seven. Three more than Kevin Vaness. One hundred. Martin, you require one. One more than Martin. Who has the same as Fallon Sherrick. Game show on the third oh, leg. Wonderful rescue Martin act Thompson. finish there from Martin Thomas to halve the deficit and break back immediately here against James Richardson, who's fighting not to finish bottom, but Thomas is fighting Four back. Leg, it's Martin to throw first. Game on. Forty. Forty-three. Forty-four. One hundred and forty. Well, the run of forty-something scores ended by one hundred and forty. Forty-three from James Richardson, but Thomas carrying on the trend, an unwanted trend though it may be. 40, 44 and 43 of visits 60. for the Welshman in this leg. Forty one or forty five coming next. Fifty eight. One hundred. Just can't get going in this leg. Martin Thomas. Twenty-eight. James, you require one hundred. Very, very strange leg of darts from him. Having won the last one. At the end of a one eighty and a very nice ninety six checkout. He'll get a one eighty now, won't he? Well, not quite, but not far away, and enough to leave a finish in case Richardson does not take out this 60. It's always a difficult finish for Richardson. His darts do stand up. Well, he's made sure he's out of the way of that one. James He does find the target in the end, and he's on target to perhaps even lift himself off the bottom of the table. Richardson leads 3-1, and he's one away from the win. Fifth leg, it's James to throw first. 
Game on. If he wins this leg, Richardson will move on to 12 points with a superior leg difference to Aaron Monk. So we'll be off the bottom Fifth, of the, the table at least temporarily. If Benes then beats Monk to secure top spot, Richardson will stay there and it will be he 60. and Monk that participates in Group C tomorrow morning alongside Jamie Kelling, Jim Williams, Charles Barstow and Richie Burnett who will join 60. the action. However, if Monk wins, then we need to look at the leg difference of Farron Sherrick and this man, Martin Thomas. And Kevin Burness may not win the league, and that has looked so likely that he will all day long. In fact, for the last 48 hours, almost, Burness has seemed six. unmovable at the top of the table. So, very interesting last couple of matches. All still to play for. 60. And the fact that Aaron Monk still has oh, something to play for as well makes it even more exciting and enticing when he takes on Benes in the next match. 140. Forty-five. Martin, you require 140. It's Richardson's turn to have a bit of an off leg, and Thomas is taking full advantage. Treble 14, probably. Oh, he's gone for the ball, and he's hit the ball. Double 16. 110. What a shot that would have been. It probably did make sense to go that way with Richardson not on a finish. 100. Nice and he now has three 36. clear darts at double 16 to claw his way back into contention in this match. Two of them have been squandered. No score. Three of them have been missed. James, you require 96. And 96 was hit against James Richardson in leg three. Can he hit it to win leg five and win the match? Oh, double, double to seal the deal. 76. Not quite. Martin, you require An audacious attempt. A fine attempt. But it's an attempt that availed him now. 16. Thomas James, you require 20. missing bucket loads of darts at doubles at the end of James this match. Shot the match. As James Richardson, James Richardson brings an end to the match and brings an end to this pair's campaign in Group A. Richardson may not yet finish bottom of the table. He's lifted himself off the bottom of the league for now. Martin Thomas will now face an anxious wait to see if he ends up in Group B or Group C. All still to play for in Group A as Kevin Burness takes on Aaron Monk in the next match before Colin Osborne faces Fallon Sherrick. Stay with us here at the Online Darts Live League.
welcome back. It all comes down to these final two matches to decide who will win Group A on Champions Week at the Online Darts Live League and book a spot at finals night. For long spells, it's looked like it will be that man, Kevin Burness, and it will be if he beats Aaron Monk in this one. But if Monk manages to do what he did earlier today and defeats... Vanessa. First leg, it's Kevin to throw first. Then he will lift Game himself on. off the bottom of the table. Give himself a chance of playing in Group B rather than Group C. 180. And offer an opportunity to Colin Osborne to take the Group A title. Displacing Vanessa as the long standing group leader so. right at the end of the action. 140. And book that solitary spot on offer in Group A at finals night. Vanessa knows a win here. 45. Means feet up for a couple of days and let the rest of the 11 players in Champions Week battle it out. 140. But a win for Monk and it's game on for Osborne against Fallon Sherrick in our next match. All we do know so far is that James Richardson will definitely play in Group C tomorrow morning. But this is a stonking start from Kevin Burness. Game show on the first leg. Kevin Burness. So a shock defeat to James Richardson, who had been bottom of the table for so long earlier on, just a couple of games ago. But he's made a flying start to this one. He's determined second to keep top spot. That 12 data is a superb starter. Kevin Burness 81. looking to book his spot finals night. James Richardson will finish fifth or sixth in the table and therefore will be in Group C with Jamie Kelly, Jim Williams, Chaz Barstow, Richie Burnett and A.N. Other. That will be Aaron Monk if he loses this match. 100. Then everything will be settled then. Osborne will be unable to catch Vanessa at the top of the table. 92. Sherrick and Thomas will join the Wizards in Group B alongside Mark Webster and Wayne Warren tomorrow evening. So a win for Monk would make Aaron the last match 170. much more significant. And a 170 finish would level things up here. He's not going to take it out, but he is going to set it up superbly. As Mayor Benes, if he fills this up. 180. And he has filled it up for the 40. second time in the match. Game shot on the but second Monk leg. seldom Aaron misses Monk. that target, and he hits it here to level up and keep this match alive. It's one apiece between the league leader, Kevin Benes, and bottom of the table, Aaron Monk. Third leg, it's Kevin to throw first. Game on. And Monk was looking good when he beat Martin Thomas in his Aye, opening match three. of the day. He also defeated this man, 4-2. In between that, that brilliant comeback win for Fallon Sherrick, denying Monk three wins out of three at the start of the day. He then went on to beat Colin Osborne for a three from four. It all unfolded from there as he crashed against James Richardson and again against Martin Thomas, losing both of those games 4-1 before being seen off for the second time today Aye, by Sherrick by the same three-leg margin. One hundred and eighty. Well, Vanessa is racking up the maximums in the early exchanges here. Three already. 14 99. for the day, 26 for the tournament. 56. Well, he would have been better throwing his last start at the treble 20 segment there. Single 20 would have left him 80, better than 82, isn't it? 138. Kevin, you require 82. I think sometimes we do need to talk about Kevin's counting, but he... Knew what to do from 82, and in it flew. 
Kevin Take Burnett. a lead, 2-1 to Kevin Burness, the Iron Man, on form and in front against Aaron Monk, two legs away from winning Group A. Both legged Aaron's have thrown first. Game on. Well, the pair have exchanged pleasantries before Monk began leg four. 100. One hundred and forty. One hundred. Well, Monk still in the hunt. One hundred and forty. And tease up a chance to level this match. One hundred. Iron near requires sixty eight. Double top. We'll see him draw level. Game show on the four flag. And he finds it to tie things up at two apiece. It becomes a race to three to see if Kevin Burnett can seal the title in group A in this match. Fifth leg, it's Kevin to throw first. Game on. Well, that's a bit of a flyer. 140. But he corrected the loose dart well there. 121. As did Aaron Monk. One hundred and thirty-four. A decent game of darts this to end their day, the penultimate match of this marathon day of action. One hundred and thirty-four. A pair of them both averaging in three figures after. Four legs. Sixty. Ness on course to produce his best performance of the week so far, right at the time he needs 43. to. Has had chances to wrap it up earlier. Has seemingly been in that position where he's effectively booked his place at finals night. 83. Since about halfway through yesterday, but a couple of times he's lost a match out of nowhere that has just offered hope Two other players in the field. The only one left hoping 43. is Colin Osborne, but he might have to rely on Aaron Monk winning the last two legs of this match because Baness has two at double 12 to take the fifth. 72. And he hasn't. Well, Aaron, this would be a showstopper. An absolute showstopper. And Aaron Monk is not up to it on this occasion. 100. So the Iron Man Kevin, Kevin Vaness of 12. Northern Ireland steps forward in need of 12 points to move one clear and one away from winning the match Game Sean and the group. Play. And Kevin he nails Vaness. it. And now Aaron Monk must win the next two legs or Kevin Vaness will top the table and take that place at finals night. Six leg, it's Aaron to throw first. Game on. Which an average of... Just over 100 for Benes right now. Monk not too far behind in the high 90s. Every single leg going with the player throwing first in this match. 140. 140. Aaron Monk. 
determined to continue that trend. 140. And both players. 100. Opening the leg with a brace of ton 40s. Aaron Monk blinks first. Bernes will better his third score. One to some tune. Aaron, you recall 121. The dulcet tones of Owen Binks calling 180. Music to the ears of Bernes, but he won't want to hear game shots here. 73. Monk misses Giving a dart at the ball. 41. And while it seemed unlikely, game shot on the it match. went down to the Kevin wire. Burness. But the prowess of Bernes could not be denied as the Iron Man powers through to finals night by winning Group A here at the Online Darts Live League. And you could see and hear what it meant to him. And he put in his best performance of the day to seal success. A 4-2 win over Aaron Monk, an average of 105 and a half. Four 180s in there as well. Good value for the win. He's been top of the pile since the beginning of the action yesterday, it seems. And Benes books his place at finals night by winning Group A. One match still to come. Fallon Sherrick and Colin Osborne up next. We'll talk you through everything that's going to happen for the rest of the week then. Stay tuned for that. But Benes is through. Thanks for staying with us. We are approaching the very last match of Group A after two bumper days of action here on Champions Week at the Online Darts Live League. And Kevin Benes has just secured top spot, meaning that he qualifies for finals night from this group. Colin Osborne was hoping he'd still be able to catch Benes going into this one, but Benes's victory over Aaron Monk seals his place at the top and Monk's fate at hey, the bottom of the table. First. Game on. What it does mean is while positions can be jostled for between 
second, third and fourth places, Colin Osborne, Martin Thomas, who's finished for the day, and Fallon Sherrick. I can tell you exactly who is in what group for the rest of the week now. So Kevin Benes progressing straight through to finals night. He can put his feet up for the next couple of days and enjoy strolls in the park and maybe a bit of practice before he competes here on Saturday night at finals night for £6,000. The winner's share of the prize fund, 10pm, Sporty Stuff TV and here on the Online Darts YouTube channel. Group C will get underway oh, tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. and it will feature the bottom two from this group, James Richardson and bottom placed Aaron Monk. 140. And they will be joined by Jamie Kelling, Jim Williams, Chaz Barstow and Richie Burnett, the defending online darts live league champion, with two places up for grabs. 60. At finals night when everybody has played each other twice at the end of the Friday session. 9.30 a.m. tomorrow and Friday. And then Group B, we'll see 60. this pair join Martin Thomas and his Welsh compatriots, Wayne Warren and Mark Webster, who will get their campaigns underway at 60. 10 p.m. tomorrow with three places on offer from those five participants in Group B across Thursday and Friday evening. So all 76. that is sealed. Make sure you tune in to the action as and when you can. The morning sessions live on the Online Darts YouTube channel. The evening sessions there and live free to air on Sporty Stuff TV. 25. I, Chris Murphy, 40. will be here talking you through the action. This pair will be in action tomorrow day. evening. Colin Osborne. In which order they finish in the league table depends on the outcome of this match. But Colin Osborne has been in fine form and he takes the first leg and a step towards sealing second place. Second leg, it's Fallon to throw first. Game on. And this pair producing some of the real highlights of the day. 170. And that's another one to add to the reel. Well, there might be nothing to play for apart from jostling for position, but it would be nice to end the afternoon's action with a nine data, wouldn't it? Come on, Fallon, we're all behind you here. If you can't follow that opening 177, Colin Osborne went 58. seven darts into the perfect leg earlier on, but still only James Richardson has produced perfection at the online darts live league. He's done it twice. 135. And full credit to the players for the way they've applied themselves over One two long, grueling sessions of action over the last two days. Had to condense what would normally be three days of darts into two. And we've seen Eight actually top. some excellent stuff towards Fallon the end of the days 86. as well as at the beginning. Fallon Sherrick has produced plenty of it. And Game she produces again. Fallen taking at 86 on double 16 to complete a dozen dart leg to tie up this final match of the day at one apiece. Third leg, it's Colin to throw first. Game on. Shout out to, to our match officials, Owen Binks and Charlie Corstafine. Binks. 45. Calling this last match. 41. Ninety. Seventy. One 
180. First of the match for Colin Osborne, but he has hit 28 now over the course of the last couple of days. That's one more than Kevin Benes. And you require 66. So that's a table that Osborne will top, unless Fallon goes absolutely crazy in the rest of this match. 54. Fallon, you require 102. I think there was a case for staying there then for Fallon Sherrick. Looked like a very good guy. She would have given herself a dart. Colin, you require but double 12. eleven had she found the treble twenty. Game show on the third leg. Not always Colin a need Osborne. to switch in order to leave a preferable double, and maybe a lesson can be learnt from that one. And it will be a lesson learned the hard way because Osborne takes a leg and leads to one. Wolf leg, it's Fallon to throw first. Fifty-five. Osborne has had a good day's darts here. Lost to Fallon Sherrick when they met earlier on. She put on an excellent display. But he beat Martin Thomas before 43. that. Before being edged out 4-3 by Aaron Monk. And then wins against Kevin Benes. And an emphatic 4-1 victory against James Richardson. Followed by his best performance of the day when he beat Martin Thomas by the same score and averaging 101.3. So he put himself in 95. contention to take Vanessa's top spot. But he has been denied that opportunity in this match. 137. 140. 135. Brilliant setup from Sherrick. Who herself has produced some real highlights for the highlight reel, including that 59. brilliant comeback win Fallon earlier this morning against Aaron Monk. Game shot on the fourth leg. And it's game shot. Fallon Sherrick. Fallon Sherrick in leg four. She ties things up at two apiece, and we will have at least a couple more legs in today's action. Fifth leg, it's Colin to throw first. Game up. As we near the end of the action in Group A. If Sherrick wins the match, 100. she will move ahead of Martin Thomas and into third place. She can't actually catch Colin Osborne on legs difference, so he will be second whatever happens here. One hundred and eighty. He'll certainly be first in the one eighty table. That's twenty eight at the end of the fourth leg of the final match for the group. His nearest rival in that department, the table topping Kevin Burness. One hundred. Sorry, that's twenty nine for Colin Osborne closing in. 130. 140. Both Colin, players you averaging 121. around 99 in this match. Both players on 1 2 1 after 9 in this leg. The bullseye for Osborne. 80. Not found. And Sherrick has the chance Ballon, you require 121. to steal. Treble 17. Can't find it. No bull dart. 57. Colin, you're for Fallon. 41. So Colin can claim the leg if he can clean this up on his favourite double. Not that one. Three. And he can't find that one either. Fallon, you require 64. The wizard in a whirl and Sherrick needs double 16 to break. 48. She was some way off in truth with that final Colin, dart. Colin, you require 38. Can't afford to go inside now. No danger of that. 19. But he doesn't get the double. Fallon, you require 16. And a big opportunity for Fallon Sherrick 
to put herself on the brink of a closing victory here at the Online Darts Live Eight. League. But more darts missed at double. Colin, you require 19. Well, it will be double one. No score. The Collidor's born. It's not where he intended to be. Alan, you require eight. And this leg goes on and on. Game shot on the Until Sherrick brings Alan an end to Sherrick. it. The pair share a joke about all the darts missed at double, but in the end, it was Sherrick who hit, who broke, and who leads 3-2. Sick player gets Fallon to throw first. And she is now throwing to finish with a win. 60. A win that would be her eighth from 15 matches. 81. To match the tally of Colin Osborne. And see her leapfrogging 84. Martin Thomas into third place in the table. As I mentioned at the start of this, she will be back in action tomorrow evening. She'll join Thomas 100. and Osborne in Group B with Mark Webster and Wayne Warren. Ninety. Forty-one. And she's moving ever closer. Ninety-seven. Well, can we cap off a marathon? A couple of days of darts with the tungsten treats to finish. Well, it will not be the 170 Big Fish finale for Fallon Sherrick. Ninety-six. But if Colin Osborne can't take Colin out 139, 139, then she will come back and should get. At least one dart to win this match. 99. She beat Colin Osborne 4-1 when they met earlier today. Well, that's 33. 41. So 41. And now 32. 42. Colin, you require 40. And now Osborne has an opportunity to break straight back. Game shot and the he finds Colin double top to do so, and we are going the distance in the finale. It is 3-3 between Osborne and Sherrick, and the Wizard throws first in the decider. Seventh and final leg, it's Colin to throw first. It's not Game on. a decider which decides anything other than who finishes 140 in third place. In the table. If Sherrick wins, she will go above Martin Thomas and take that third spot off him. 81. Osborne will finish second regardless of the outcome of this leg. 100. All three of those players mentioned, as I've mentioned, will be in Group B. And back tomorrow evening. We'll be back, though, tomorrow morning with the 40. start of Group C. Featuring Aaron Monk and James Richardson, Jamie Kelling, Jim Williams, Chaz Barstow and the defending champion Richie Burnett. Join us bright and early here on the online Darts YouTube 45. channel. 9.30am. We tow the hockey. 60. For another game of throws. The story of Group A has been Kevin Burness setting the pace and then not being caught by the chasing pack Colin, you to book his place. At finals night, 55. to remain in the hunt for the £6,000 first prize that is on offer. One 
100. Colin, you require 101. Colin Osborne will be second. Sherrick will be third or fourth. If Osborne hits top, she will be fourth. 61. They will both go fourth Ballon to Group B tomorrow 80. evening. Can Sherrick end with a win? Double top to do so. 60. Well, that dart got in the way. Colin, Colin Osborne may get 40. in the way. For a ninth win of the week. Game Colin Osborne hits double Colin top Osborne. to win the match against Fallon Sherrick. He finishes second in Group A at the end of play. A 4-3 win in a thrilling finale. Sherrick coming out on the wrong end in the end, but she will join Osborne and Martin Thomas in Group B tomorrow night. Kevin Benes straight through to finals night. There you see the table. He progresses to finals night. And we will be back at 9.30 with the start of Group C, which will feature both James Richardson and Aaron Monk. Join us then.